them at the time. <laughs> the fuck is that shit talking about? <laughs> <Bars>. <laughs> like, come on with your old melody, nigga. Get off the song. <laughs> <laughs> Before everything Give it to me Send them in the summer That's when we started back. <laughs> Yo, I'm letting y'all know I'm in a silly mood, man So all this serious shit y'all doing Fuck out of here uh, <laughs> Microphone check One, two, what is this? Welcome to two of what? <laughs> 292 Three Just killing them Oh, whatever uh, Welcome to episode 293 of the Joe Budden Podcast I am your humble, gracious, grateful, and highly favored host, Joe Budden Here with a few of my nearest and dearest friends Maul is here, Parks is here, Rory is here, Erickson is here uh, Savon the Don, STD is here <laughs> And uh, Screen Man is here Gentlemen, how's everybody doing? How y'all feeling? I feel a little bit Good. more comfortable with Scully Joe back I don't know, Dad Hat Joe was, mm. was cool for a little while, but Glad that we got Scully back. Well, thanks, man. Yeah, it feels, feels like a pod again. No, Scully Joe's here for you niggas, man. <laughs> <laughs> I got a dad at my back. That's cool. It's cool. It's cool. It's cool. It's cool. Yeah. Oh, y'all hating on dad had daddy? No, no. First of all, <laughs> never calling no man dad had daddy. <laughs> Number one. Number two, the Scully is a good look. Well, thank you, man. Yeah. <laughs> look! Yeah. Look at dude compliments. Yeah. Yeah, nice feels, it feels slight, slightly more dangerous in here. Yeah. All right. Well, how yeah. are you guys I was, doing? I was really comfortable around the dad. Like I feel like I could say anything, <laughs> and, and nothing would happen. Now I feel like all right. Maybe I should watch some of my words. Okay. Oh, yeah. Well, how are you doing otherwise? Great. That's all you guys ever have at the beginning. I'm just great. Yeah. Good, yeah. Yeah. I'm good. I tried to give them like stupendous one day, and then y'all killed me, and then I was like, well, I should never come in here happy. Yeah. yeah. No. Don't come in. Here Not happy. stupendous. No. No. Oh, okay, come in here concerned about the culture. <laughs> How are you feeling, Joe? Uh, fuck. Sc- scale of one to ten, where are you at? Eleven. <laughs> I'm feeling pretty good out here. That's a good number. That's a good number. It Eleven, is. right? Yeah, good number. Uh, I'd like to shout out our Spotify listenership, our YouTube viewership. I would like to shout out our first and last time listeners. And all the listeners in between, the ones that just rock with us all the time, I'd like to shout out anybody who we may be helping through a difficult week or a turbulent time in your life. I'd also like to shout out anybody that might be in therapy. That's, that's what I noticed over the weekend. All of the adult people in my life, like the grown people that are like my age, they're all in therapy. Tell me and about it, right? They're all, every last one of them are in therapy. And they just, like you don't really know until they... Bring it up, but they bring it up like, yo, I'm going to the store. I'll call you right back. I'm like, yo, I'm going to therapy. I'll call you back. <laughs> yeah, it happens. All right, great. Like relationship therapy or like just? There's many forms of therapy. Yeah. Therapy, yeah. as in, what do, you, what do you mean relationship therapy? No, these are people that are not in relationships. They're just okay. going to therapy to dump their shit on somebody. Oh, okay. <laughs> for, for a reasonable price. Yeah. Yeah, so they don't go out in the world and kill people. Got you. Yeah. So shout out to those people. Yeah. Uh, all right. What else? What else? What else we got? What else we got? What's going on? Come on. Uh, shout out to the gardeners. Okay. Now I wasn't throwing the shout outs to you. And that's, well, I mean, that's why. their season's <laughs> almost over. They might need a job. And so I'm just that's trying true. to give them some encouragement. Oh, oh the East Coast. Royce, go ahead, man. Yeah. Be the a snowflower. The West Coast gardeners still have a job to do. How was your weekend? Yeah, you, was the, in, you was in the, L.A., right? Get the fires out. Yeah. Well, yeah. That definitely. I that that, that I, for that, sure. That is why I would not move to L.A. <laughs> That's pretty scary. Yeah. Because it fires. Yeah. It's a fire every other month. Yeah. And I'm well, not trying is, to be insensitive. I think but this is the rainy the season coming up. Like, right? Isn't winter the I, I didn't know, the know if it rained. More, I didn't know if there uh, was a rainy season. season. From St. Albans, man. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think, rainy, I think LA's winter is, is a little rain, yeah. Oh, you would know. Yeah, I think they get a little rain. Not not much, but they get rain. rain. Is everything rain. okay with your crib? I don't have a crib. They didn't get your crib, right? No. Thanks. He's up there on a different type hill. Mm, yeah, the fire is for the like different uh, type hill. <laughs> <laughs> what does that even mean? Uh, so we want to uh, shout out to anybody who may have been affected by these yeah, uh, Los Angeles fires. Sure. That's hopefully, scary hopefully everyone is safe. Definitely scary when houses just go up in flames. So yeah. everyone's. Yeah, and then it'd be like, oh, you got to leave because the wind is pushing the fire this way. That's I'm like, fam, yeah, you got to chill the, and watch was, the fire come. Like UCLA and another school, I think was right in the path too wow and that's when you find out in college that they don't really care about you and they're not responsible for you yeah go find go figure it out i don't care if you live in, in colorado <laughs> be in class on monday <laughs> um so we've got a lot to get to i was i assume where would you gentlemen like to begin 
Well, let's not skip over the weekend. You you were in L.A. stating and paneling the culture. Yes, I went to Los Angeles for the Revolt Summit. Mm-hmm. I don't come in here like y'all and just fucking have a word throw up about all my other jobs. I don't care that I went to L.A. <laughs> but we do. Maybe something happened there. Yeah, But it was a summit. So yeah. It was different. It was, it was a summit. It was great. Yeah. It was a good time. Okay. Did you sit in on any interesting panels? The other thing I noticed too, I don't divulge any information in life. Like that, that's been that's been pointed out to me about me. Wait, what? I don't tell people anything. You tell people anything. Uh, it's probably about you told everyone about your erectile dysfunction uh, as a result of. I opioids. tell people a bunch of shit that don't matter at all. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, don't, I don't talk about anything that's of any importance to like me. I don't really ever talk about like my feelings on shit. I just come in here and talk about shit I don't care about. I think you're still wrong. That's on that. been okay. no. It's been pointed out to me by like people I love and care about that you don't devote. Well, maybe like in a relationship, you mean, or what they think you should care. Like about. even <laughs> anytime somebody ever asks me fucking how I'm doing or what's going on, yeah, you know, man, day daycare and work. Yeah, but that's, that's kind of that's kind of humans though, and it, especially men. I know. Like, you know, how often do you ask a simple question like, "Yo, how you doing?" Just in a regular conversation, and so like, well, now that you ask. <laughs> <laughs> I know that's cool until you get around people that you care about and y'all start asking regular questions like, yo, how was LA? Mm-hmm. And now you're out of habit. It was good. <laughs> Got you. It was okay. I didn't I tell think, you shit. But I think I think we do that True. not only to, you know, sometimes you just don't want to put your shit on other people. Like if you're going through some yeah. shit, other people might be going through shit. Like, you know, I don't want to bother him with what I'm going through. So I'm all right. Yeah, I know I do that a lot. Like, yeah, I don't like to put my shit on other people. Everybody yeah, going, everybody's going through something. That. Not saying it's bad or it's like fucked up for everybody, but every everybody that's on this planet is dealing with something. That's why you pay the therapist. Yeah, even the therapists are going through something. Oh, well, we, we, yeah, who we, therapizes the therapists? Uh, don't get more therapists. started, please, 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 please. Don't get more started. Uh, <laughs> Uncle Sam. <laughs> well, well, what, what, what are you going through? Maybe I can help you. I'm not going through nothing right now. I'm good right now. Oh, well, what you about to go through? I don't know. Something's coming your way. You ever get nervous when shit is too good? Yes, all the time. Yeah, that absolutely. means something is happening. Okay, yeah, glad I'm not the only one. Like 100%. when everything is good, like it's like almost like walking in a room and everybody stops talking when you walk in the room. <laughs> right. like, right, hold on, what the fuck was y'all just talking about? Wait, how do white people do that? How do white people fucking get nervous when shit's going too good? <laughs> oh, they know the yeah, taxes. Y'all they, can't get nervous. Somebody found <laughs> the hell somebody, not letting Rory share. Somebody that. found their taxes. That's all. <laughs> that's the only thing white people get nervous about is the taxes. Yeah. <laughs> they let the IRS let that one go through. No, no audit this year. Yeah. Exactly. All right. So none of you guys are going through anything that you feel the need to share with us right this second. No, not on a podcast. Nah. Of this this magnitude. All right. Great. Awesome. So we all want to start. <laughs> uh, do you want to do the Lizzo fix? Come on. Let's do the Lizzo fix. Let's do the Lizzo. Last fix. week we talked about Lizzo being sued by someone, and we fucked it up. Yeah, we did. Which we do often. Even though that's not, not necessarily true, because exactly what I reported is exactly what I read from multiple sources. It was just wrong. It's been a developing story. Yeah, it's yeah. been it's been it's tricky. So we have more to add. We weren't wrong. We just have more to add. Uh, we, we well, were no, we probably were wrong. We were and we also wrong. recorded on Thursday, so more may have come out. You know, after our report. So okay. so what we're saying is the person that did the original tweet that we were thinking was suing her. Uh, that we agreed with was already credited and paid for that tweet and Lizzo taking that those words. There was someone that then took those words and made a meme who's now going at Lizzo saying, I also want compensation for this. And Lizzo is saying, suck my dick. And I agree with her. You can't take someone else's words, make a meme and say, I owe you money now. Well, there's also some kids that are songwriters, apparently, that were doing songwriting sessions with her. Mm-hmm. And this meme and or tweet may have come up in the session. And they now feel like they are entitled to a portion of the song, even though they didn't write or even contribute they, to that particular they song. It. They stole it too. <laughs> they just mentioned it in a Yo, session. Yo, I stole it too, fam. Oh, so you got to pay me. God, man. Listen, yeah. man. Just go create fucking something and keep, stop putting your fucking hand out. Well, I can't say that because there, there's big business in uh, suing people. <laughs> well, that <laughs> wrongly suing people though. Oh yeah, hell yeah. yeah. Like that's a career. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure they're gonna attempt to get to get this young lady to uh, settle out. Yeah. Because it's more of an annoyance to... But she's actually countersuing all of them. Good for her. Yeah. What is, what is she countersuing? Uh, the leave me alone clause. <laughs> I, I mean... That's a nice clause. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let me find out what the actual... Uh, what she's suing them. I'm glad, I'm glad that the original songwriter 
Uh, the original creator of this line was paid. Uh, I'm glad that Lizzo is countersuing these these other people that popped out the blue with this bullshit. And uh, and I support her. The end. Yeah. Yeah, they don't say specifically, just the fact she's suing them because they sued her, essentially. Yeah. Yeah, no, they don't say. Apologies, apologies for the mix up. Yeah. yeah, I can't say we'll be more careful next time because we try to tell you guys that we'd be wrong. Yeah, it happens. So, yeah, but we should try to be right. Yeah, yeah. Um, or, or at least admit when we're wrong. So, shout out to Lizzo and the guy that wrote this line and the fucking lawsuit chaser people that are trying to come up on a little ten thousand dollars or something. <laughs> <laughs> shout that out they're to gonna have to pay their lawyer. Anybody that's gonna pop up and sue her next week. That's what happens with success, man. Life, yeah, life you chose. Yeah, life you chose. Um, what else? What else is important that we need to get to? Did you guys hit any Halloween shindigs? No. <laughs> what are they happening? Is the question that I, I was sitting here saying y'all are still doing Halloween parties, and I just realized Halloween has not happened. Yet. It hasn't happened. I saw a couple of people dressed up on was, Saturday yeah, when yeah, it was out. People were out a little bit, but not like up. crazy. Yeah. I feel they'll, like they'll be out Thursday this weekend. I yeah. think it's gonna be the no. Nah, you can't celebrate after. Halloween. I think you can. No. That, at that point, you're just reaching. <laughs> you're just looking for something to do. I'm pretty sure Friday is going to be some people out. Mo, when, was the, when was the last time you uh, dressed up for Halloween? Uh, years ago. Maybe <laughs> 10 years ago. How about you, Roy? Three or four years, maybe? It's been a little while. Mm-hmm. But... Ah, that's what he got it to right there. <laughs> what? <laughs> you trying to scream. Come on, y'all hating. When you said Halloween music, I was really worried you were going to play Monster Mash, and I'm really glad you didn't. Monster Mash. What's Monster Mash? You know it. What is it, though? It's a really bad song from like the 50s that they play at Halloween every year. <laughs> I'm, I'm bad. I like this song. <laughs> was, that on the, was that on the Rolling Stone? Top 50 vocalists? I'm sure. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Come on. I brought up Halloween so we could actually have a discussion about Halloween. So what is there to discuss about Halloween? You want to get into the pagans? No. What is, what is there What is there to talk about Halloween? Like, it's not for adults anymore. So, I mean. At all. Yeah. It's not for adults. Uh, Things I, don't I, dress up. I completely disagree. It's I think it's completely switched from being for the kids to now being for the adults. Yes, the young does. adults. It's for like 23-year-olds. I like hip-hop. <laughs> nah, I see. I, I see a lot of thirty-year-olds out there. Halloween and hip hop, and dressed as a joker. <laughs> Bunch of niggas dressed up, not being themselves, asking for shit from people. Costume jewelry. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Face paint that's actually permanent for the rest of your life. Are Good any point. are any of you trick or treating? <laughs> no, no, I can't say. Well, yeah. y'all don't have kids. Yeah, no. Are you? Uh no. <laughs> <laughs> You're not taking Lex. Nah. Why? I'm famous. <laughs> oh, but you could wear a mask. I thought you were gonna give us the knowledge on the history. <laughs> no. yeah. I don't not believe in witchcraft. My son into that. <laughs> oh no 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 not not at all. Uh, I think we'll dress up, but actually going to people's houses—that's not what I'm trying to do for my two-year-old or almost two-year-old. And is that in this is this year. sensitive era? Is that is no, Halloween we, even a no, thing? No, no, we dressed up. I bought a whole bunch of candy. And said, ah, I just threw it all up in the air. He was happy. Oh, yeah, I didn't. <laughs> nah, he was totally satisfied oh. with that. I was like, what? <laughs> yes. <laughs> so Walgreens is still there this year. <laughs> a couple a tootsie fact. rolls and yeah. shit. Throw them up in the air. That's He'll never know the difference. Yeah. No. And Trey's eighteen. He ain't really thinking about uh, trick or treat and all that. But I'm no. not even seeing the flurry of women tweet, uh, tweet or Instagram about the outfits. About uh, it's coming. About potential. I, I, I saw some. Yeah, this but weekend. we normally have to deal with it for the whole month. I, it's just quiet. That's all. It's just it's just been quiet leading up to. I've seen a few jokers. I've seen a few uh, money heists. I've seen a few. Uh, I've seen a few Meg the Stallions. I've seen a lot yeah. of girls throwing a cowboy hat and just some mm-hmm. lingerie. <laughs> <They're> like, <laughs> Call it a day. I'm Meg. <laughs> well, see, the thing is now, that girls girls dress up all year now, so <laughs> it's different. <laughs> that was nasty. Meg, that was. Meg stole shit from me. No, she. Who, who's wearing the hats first? 
Ah, uh, stumped wear, you. Stumped yeah, you. But I don't wear the same Look, hats. Just when you was trying to be dismissive of no, me. But you don't I wear, stumped you. You don't wear cowboy hats. I mean, they're cowboy esque. No, they're not. He's definitely and he thankfully, cowboy boots. He thankfully does not wear fishnets. Chains on him. So. <laughs> not over my clothes. <laughs> 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 Let me stop. So Halloween. Because that's about six weeks in a row where niggas think I'm trying to come out, and I'm not. Well, we're going we're gonna to get to that, too. Joe yeah, trying to come out? No. No, it's just, more people. Every week, there's people on more, your label. More and more people trying to come out. There's people <laughs> on my label trying to come out. Yeah. We'll get to that later. It's later on in the docket. Come on. Let's All not right, get well, ahead of 20, ourselves. Well, we're 20 minutes in. What, what, would y'all, what would y'all like to begin with? Y'all didn't care about Halloween. <laughs> like, <laughs> well, well, girls dress up all year now. That's true. Yeah. They wear makeup. Dress up. Post pictures. So, That's true. I'm, I'm, still, I'm still looking for a little French maid out there. <laughs> <laughs> a nurse, perhaps. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still searching for a substitute teacher. <laughs> dress up like ready that every to, day now. Ready to cause some mischief. <laughs> ready for some detention. <laughs> teacher, teacher, I know the answer. <laughs> it's, it's Halloween not good to get me, a, get me a role playing bag? Do you that, know Parks and Rim is going to be up and down Steinway being something? Yeah, we are. Sure. Absolutely. Me- meeting at a bar. Yeah. <laughs> meeting at a bar. <laughs> meeting at a bar. <laughs> Can you imagine Parks walking in the bar acting like he's meeting his girl for the first time? <laughs> That's some funny <laughs> shit. So we're losers. We're yeah. not that big of losers. <laughs> well, that's funny though. Oh wait, where's this clip that I thought was funny? There's a Halloween uh, clip. No, I can't find it. No, but Nick, <laughs> Nikki and Nikki and uh and her husband dressed up as the Joker and whatever. Holly uh, Quinn. Yeah, I saw that. They they dressed up and they put the pictures out. So then I guess her husband went to like the store or something and. <laughs> Paparazzi caught him. Oh, I saw that. That's on her story now. <laughs> oh, with the, with the costume on? No. No, no. No, he didn't have his costume oh. on, but I'm assuming it was after he did that. So they were trying to talk friendly to him. Like, hey, Kenneth. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but they was far. <laughs> like, it was a lot of distance. Yeah. And I'm waiting to hear what he had to say to Paparazzi. He didn't say nothing. No, he did. He said, he said don't play with me for real. <laughs> That's exactly what they say. Yo, don't play with me for real. <laughs> don't play with me. Oh, that, I respect it. <laughs> they didn't play with him. Yeah. I bet not. Like, uh, like so that, for real, don't play with me. Yeah, yeah. They, they, they didn't. They didn't play with him. Uh, and shout out to them too. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so that's it for Halloween, man. These guys are too cool to talk about what they're going to be, how they're going to dress up, I'm, what they want, <laughs> what they want the ladies in their life to look like on Halloween. I'm not, we're still deciding on our, our Halloween attire. Are you on the clock? Yeah, I know. Costumes are sold out in the next three yeah, days. Yeah, that'd be Yeah, you got to get creative I now. run and try to get an outfit. Them shits be so loud at Kruger's or wherever yeah, the fuck. Yeah, you're going to get us a mask. There's a whole yeah. Halloween store in the right Party in the City cleared. No, that's a hookah store, Parks. You can't dress up as hookah. <laughs> Parks want to be a hookah? I'll just be a hookah. Yeah, fuck yeah, it. I'd be a hookah. Um, all right, so listen. Over the weekend, Joe Budden got into a flurry of incidents. <laughs> <laughs> Is this a flurry? Uh, it was a little flurry. It's not a flurry. So it's a little fizz. A little fizz. <laughs> it's it's a, I see what you did. I see. Come that's on. A a that's a drum. That's a drum. Come on, man. That's what I'm here for, man. You know? I look at them all starting out uh, early. I do what I can. Uh, I don't know how I got into into this mess versus Lil Fizz. He kept saying, did you see what happened to Lil Fizz? <laughs> you kept commenting. All over the last podcast. I did not say that. Well, yeah, did I? Yeah, you did. It's cool. On the pod? Yeah. Well, on Twitter. And then last week, Maul tried to Lil Fizz me. <laughs> I definitely did not try to yes, Lil Fizz. you did. Wait, no, can did. you define, can you tell the, the listeners Lil, what, Lil, what a Lil Fizz is? Yeah, Lil I'm, Fizz I'm, is... A little, a little fizzing of someone is, and this is just my definition. Don't come on, Puff. <laughs> Puff is just a bump, bump, bump in my ear like that. A uh, little fizzing is when you say or do something that can come off as trying to fuck your friend's baby mom. Oh, yes. Okay. So Maul, my, oh Maul, Maul did little fizz. Maul, there might have been a and, and, and the thing little, about little that, fizz. but the thing about that Maul not even that type of dude. But what's happening out there is Lil Fizz is empowering people. Mm. Oh, I don't even think that. Maul would have ever said no shit like that without Fizz and his. So Fizz kind of paved the way for niggas mm. like Maul to say this shit. <laughs> <laughs> so I didn't That's even. Wait, but Lil I didn't. Fizz, Lil Fizz is Maul's OG. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Maul is Big Fizz. <laughs> Yo, 
I'm nah, you ass fish. Your brother's big. Nah, you fish shit down for years before Lil Fizz. <laughs> I'm gonna let y'all get that fish off. Fish shit down. I'm, tr- I'm trying this new thing where I don't shit on nobody. I'm gonna let y'all get that off. Go ahead. What? Is that true? No, man. It, listen, and so, and so, bro, you never like dead at a beef? Tell it's me you never so dead at a beef. Come on. Oh, of course. Come on, that's fair. You fizzed yeah. it out. Yeah, you been the voice of reason. <laughs> Come on, man. He walked in between them two niggas. Yo, fizz it down. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, let's the situation fizz fizz out. Yeah. No? I've done that a few times for sure. I don't I didn't say let me I didn't say anything about Little Fizz. Let me let the listeners know that. I said that Omarion should be credited for his level of chill. The end. Yeah. And then Lil Fizz seen it. Air Fizzo. Well, no, you can't say that though, because the cuz man listen dot 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 insinuate something. Yeah. There's a little spice in there. He was yeah. coming at the Fizz? It That's... don't insinuate anything. It said man listen dot 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 space dot 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 <laughs> means I'm hurting one of you niggas. That don't insinuate anything. Yeah, so <laughs> then at that point, Air Fizzo has a right Air to... Air Fizzo don't know that he would get hurt? What are you talking... Not from me, but I'm just no. saying. In that situation... He, he isn't getting Come hurt. Come on, nigga. Nigga. He, ain't he, is, he isn't fizz. getting hurt. That's because... Oh, he's oh. eating avocado toast, doing his regular yeah. routine. Fizzy chilling. Yeah. That's because Maybach O is not really thinking about this right now. Yeah. Mm. But Maybach Joe would. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, you've been with Maybach Joe in this exact situation. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you've been right by my side. Yeah. You, you can tell the people how I react. Yeah, a little differently, for sure. That's when Maul pop in with, nah, you can't fight over the girl. <laughs> and that's no. when you pull out the, nah, nah, it ain't even about her. No, no, no. It's 100% about her. It's like, well, that's every fight ever. <laughs> no, but this is totally, you've never been in a situation like this. This is this totally is different. No, this is nuts. Like, Marion and Fizz were like, they Fan, grew up together. Yeah, they well, grew I was up a together. Nick fan when that shit happened, man. Yeah, but it's different. So it's, it's, it's still different. <laughs> Come no. on, man. This, I no. watched us in the finals. I'm, yeah, I'm, I get it, but this is totally different. Yeah. This is, this is a different level well, of... Felt the same. And I'm going to be honest, I, I still don't even... <laughs> felt like y'all was on tour together. <laughs> yeah, man. I'm going to be honest... You went to a few I, away I, games? I still don't even believe this shit, though. I think this is all just like That's because you like that April girl, too. Oh, April's fine, but I'm just saying I I, I don't I still don't think this is a like. Well, hold on, I don't want to know Which one way? is it? <laughs> I don't know none of them niggas, so me talking to April is totally fine. But I'm just saying, like, I don't think. Whoa, that, whoa, you whoa, relax. whoa, whoa, Big Fizz can't he, step on Lil, Lil Fizz. Fizz. Come on, no, no, <laughs> God, but damn, who, y'all who, share a name. Who's no, the I'm biggest not, Fizz can't here? Can't do that to your OG. <laughs> and then who's left to Fizz out? That's the second time you call Air Fizz my OG. You gotta fucking relax now. What what was dude in uh, Pinnell? In uh, fuck it, in menace to society, you can't take his, you can't take no his this girl is, and raise his kid. April, I don't, April. I don't know them niggas. <laughs> Why you keep trying to put in the situation like I know these dudes? Air Fizzo clapped at me, said, "LOL, hashtag Mister Pump It Up is clout chasing now." You are, you were clout chasing, and I was uh, look Ben how, Cloud chasing. Look how fast we forget about doing it for little saint. <laughs> yeah, like if there's one nigga that can't crack on Pump It Up, it's this nigga. That's true. He was and to and to be honest, they did it for Lil Saint and his over whole, pump it up. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Yeah, that whole little crew, yeah. they crew can't talk about me. Yeah, he definitely two step to your to your record. That's a That's kind of like their record. <laughs> the fucked up part is I like Fizz, man. I do like this Seems kid. Like a cool dude. Uh, this situation is just weird. I don't. Uh, this weird and nasty and really Los Angelesy mm-hmm. and. It is. You know why it's really weird because this because they just went on tour together. No, not that. I'm just. It's just <laughs> no, no, that. Friends. no, no, that. No, this was happening while they were on no, tour. No, that. No, they have no, albums together. No, not that. That. It's not that. Well, guess that what? That makes hey, it weird too. Well, guess what, Big Fizz? Don't you pack your tour bag? <laughs> don't pack. No need to pack the tour bag if that's what you're doing out there. No, I'm. Let s- me tell you, you're not performing. No, but this is. It's only. <laughs> it's only nasty because there. There are so many women that I'm sure would. Want to get with this dude? Like he's been, women have been chasing these these guys for years. So why would you go after the the one girl that a guy you grew up with has children with? Like that's why I just don't. This is just like a malicious stunt. Like, they, they felt the vibes. Somebody said Amari ain't beefing because he had both of them already. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say that. And y'all, I fuck with Amari. I don't do that. I know. I'm telling y'all what somebody else said. No, I get it. But sometimes when people say someone said, <laughs> <laughs> you, you said it. There's someone, yeah. 
But that would be a reason to be bad at dumb niggas. <laughs> like, oh shit, all right. Look at my old works. <laughs> look, at my, look at my old works working together. <laughs> That's crazy. As Should fuck, I read that? Man. No. No. <laughs> fuck, no. Oh, all right. Fine. Uh, and that's all I got, man. I wasn't responding to Lil Fizz, but that's how I spent my Saturday night. Nah, you just responded. And now we are. Nah, I'm not responding to. And fucking he's gonna Lil respond Fizz. to the response. That's true. April is fine though. Yeah. I don't want none of this talk to. Hey, Y'all Fizz. are gonna rile up Fizzo, man. Get him all fizzed up. No, April's right. She's April's nice. Yeah. That's that's April. another reason I'll squash it with Fizzo in case them two niggas don't work out. <laughs> Be like, yo, you seen the movie, right? I know you're trying to keep it in the fam. Look at Scream Man went straight to April Pay. Yeah, April's nice, man. <laughs> Shit's all right. <laughs> Shit's all right. Shit's all right. Yeah, like, I mean, the label put that group together. Listen, <laughs> listen man. We're not, we're not I mean, really that close. How many songs were they really on together? <laughs> like, for real, what was really the nature of this relationship? The yeah. more I'm looking we gotta at We got to dig into the nature of the group. <laughs> the I more mean, I look at our IG. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I get it. Yeah, I understand. I get it. Uh, all right, so come on. Let's get off of April Jones, honestly. And okay. shout, shout out to Fizz and Marion, all parties involved. I pray for all you niggas. Y'all nuts. <laughs> <laughs> Great TV, I'm sure. Let's uh, let's get into your label mate, man. My label mate. Yes. Um, label boss. Your boss. I don't have a boss, Marks. Well, I mean, by contract. Well, whatever yeah. you want to call him. What if he told you oh, he was Gazi. gay? <laughs> <laughs> Who's my boss? Gazi and Joyner got a joint. What are y'all saying? What if Eminem told you he was gay? Then nothing. Okay. There's a new record coming Why out. Why are you asking me this? this what, is... what if Joyner and Eminem told you at the same time that they that were gay? Now that changes things. What if the two of them like linked up and was like, yo, Joe, just want to let you know, two of us might be gay. And they did it in bar form. Y'all know I don't think gay jokes are the funniest, right? No, this isn't a gay joke. This is not a gay joke. They got a record coming. Just asking you what would you do if Eminem was at home on the bathroom <laughs> floor? <laughs> With Joyner. <laughs> and he was hungry. I'm just Yo, gonna play the clip. Just tell me, no, no, don't play, play nothing. Clip. Tell me no, what play, y'all. You gotta hear the clip. No, nah, the clip it's self-explanatory. I told you I'm out of place. Wait, what if I told you that I was gay? What if I'm a hypocrite who's afraid to just face truth? Wait, what if I told you I'm gay too? I told you I'm out of place. Wait, what if I told you that I was gay? What if I'm a hypocrite who's afraid to just face truth? Wait, what if I told you I'm gay too? The beat sounds good. <laughs> sounds like some 40. Yeah. Some 40 shit. Yeah. I got to the... How you, how, you, how you come out to a, a Drake reference? <laughs> I cannot wait to hear this song. Because the way they got off their styles and kissed back and forth... <laughs> Gives, know, a, some gives, a whole, and gives a whole new meaning yeah. to styles and kiss. kiss. Yeah, like, <laughs> like, like, like. Hey, that was kind of funny. I was just saying, the way they got into that is kind of like kissing style. <laughs> Yo, that is nasty. <laughs> Yo, Joyner, Lucas, and M. Yeah. All and, right, come and, on, come on. I have, to, I have to be. I and y'all have to be careful with your uh, Eminem. Eminem takes here. After our last year no, beefing I'm, with I'm, Eminem, I don't have any beef with Eminem. So no, I don't. No, no beef with Eminem. No, y'all had beef with him. No, we all no, did. No, we all did. I don't think we did. Just didn't no, like no, the I'm music. telling him. Listen to me. <laughs> I'm telling y'all. What beef we, are we at? We all had when he dropped seven interviews about me and you, nigga. Fuck are you talking uh. about? <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, uh, all right. So what are you guys? Whose song is this? Uh, I'm assuming Joiners. I think this is Joiners. I'm gonna go with Joiners. Yeah. All right, so now you guys give your educated, savvy opinions on this on this song. I don't think the whole and song is about that. I think that's just the uh, refrain, if you will, of the verses. Yeah, what it, I, I think this is going to be Joiner's point of view shit with M now, and it's going to be there are now people trying to come out of the closet, and they're going to perform it at the VMAs. They're going to wear T-shirts that have some hotline about people trying to come out, and if you feel a certain way, you should call this line. I, I see where this is going. I'm sorry, I think it's nasty. I'm not watching this. <laughs> I don't know if I can see that. If Elton John is not at that piano, <laughs> then, then I'm not watching it, buddy. He might be at that piano. Well, Rory, tell I me don't, why. Yeah, I don't think the whole record is about 
that. I think they just this is just my prediction. Just and if that is the case, that they are using people trying to come out, and this is one of those Joiner point of view records. I'm telling you now, I think it's disgusting. I think it's disgusting anyway. <laughs> What not because of not, no 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 I think yeah, it's no, disgusting no. that you're yeah. using not, that no right, yeah, let's make that yeah, clear yeah, yeah, that's yeah. important nothing about being gay could, is any of that and right, right. this that's is speculation not what I'm saying this, that could not be what the record's about but I, I, I could don't see care. the point of view shit coming from Joyner on this record I'm just looking at it in its totality uh, the last Joyner record I asked you gentlemen about it was a single I purchased it on uh, racist on, um, no this was um, what if I tell you I got feelings? Oh, the one that he sounded like. What just if real. I tell you oh, I got yeah. feelings? Oh, yeah. Yeah. He, he sounded like everybody got feelings. I do okay. Do you have feelings? <laughs> Keep going. I don't remember it. <laughs> that was recent. No, it disturbs me when when artists do that, and I think that's a big part of why fans think I'm a hater. Mm. Because I mean, you are. I am, but it's educated hate. Like when an artist takes a very vague, broad topic that's applicable to all, like my example for that is always Drake because he's, he's the best at that. Oh. Drake to me is the best at that. Like uh, it's God's plan. God's got a plan for you. That was a good song. <laughs> it was a good song. I know, but God's got a plan for all of you losing, <laughs> losing niggas. Like who does this hook apply to? Oh, everyone. Yeah. Great. Hey, well, God's plan. That's called pop music. Got a plan for you. Jesus, Jesus is king. I don't that's, know if you checked. Yeah. Oh, what was the other one that Drake is real good? Uh, nice for what? Come on, yeah, you had fam. to empower the women. Come on, yeah. fam. Strong move. But I don't, I don't, I don't knock Drake. You was bad even in your high school pictures. Yeah. Drake, you was bad in your high school pictures. <laughs> <laughs> but listen, so I don't knock Drake for that because he's amazing at that. He's good right. at it. But Joyner's last song with that, I Got Feelings, I'm Psycho, I'm Taking Pills, We're Taking Pills for the Emotions. <laughs> got it. And now you're back when, when being gay is in, when being gay is trendy. And now you got a song saying, What if I was gay? Nigga, then you just gay. <laughs> like I don't need a whole song about you, the not 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 gay guy being gay. But I'm shutting up. Don't get Kevin Harden because I don't. Because I know what you're saying. No, I'm not even saying that because he might be gay. Oh, which is fine. I yeah. think most of the rappers are gay. By the way, that's Joe's opinion. Most of the rappers are gay. Bye. Most of them. Okay. Book it. Why do you say that? Because I'm look. I know him. No, I feel you. I Just feel you. a little gimmicky. And if I didn't think it was gimmicky then, you call Eminem, and I'm tired of hearing these two niggas' voices together. <laughs> like, Have we heard their voices together before? Yeah. Like, yes. Oh, oh, okay. yeah. oh, yeah, he was on uh, Kamikaze shit. They yeah. should stop. Their voices <laughs> and styles should never be next to each other. But because Joyner is such a huge M fan, we're going to see this. Great. So you give us a song, and now you put M on it. M, who has bashed gay people for the... Majority of his career, not not the entirety, but the majority of it, mm -hmm. I think he pieced it up with Elton John at he some did. point. Yeah. Good performance. Everything was cool there. Mm -hmm. yeah. He matured. He, he, he got he over it. It's just gimmicky. And and I, I have a thing with gimmicky, with gimmicky concepts. So you didn't like Jesus is King? <laughs> I didn't listen to it. Yeah, right. I didn't. No, you didn't miss much. I played the um, I played the little. You played the clips joint. The little snippets with Kenny G. Uh, I played Kenny the G snippets. That shit. I played the snippets <laughs> of everything. Oh, okay. And the snippet of that song didn't have the Kenny G sax solo at the uh, end that everybody told me about. Oh, there's a sax here. You gotta hear it. I mean, that is your bag, though. No, it's definitely your bag. I'm Andy never supporting Kanye West in anything. I have been firm in that. The same way Maul has been firm in his football takes. There's nothing for me to say. Or purchase with Kanye West, so no, I'm not listening to it. But I will listen to the snippets. We'll get into it. I'm sure y'all heard it. But why is that? Do have... Why won't you support Kanye? I think that that's you should expound on that a little bit. Tie into your gimmick topic. Uh no. With him, it's probably a tad bit uh, deeper because he's much more powerful. I think. I think I addressed this here before it's just about I think in bits and pieces you have addressed it it's but just not for, in totality for, for me it's about words and actions matching and, and that's really all it boils down to with Kanye um because I don't believe that his words and actions match uh because I don't believe that his music has sustained the same quality that I'm used to from him 
Mm-hmm. That's uh, for sure. And because of his contradicting viewpoints, yeah, I won't do it. For me, it's a, you kind of are who you support for me. Okay. Yeah. Like, there's no distinction to be made there like <laughs> Kanye keeps trying to get me to make. Yo, I'm just friends with him. What he does is what he, that, that for me is an unacceptable reply. And that's, I just, I'm shutting up because I see through this. Yeah, this, I do this, too. I, I see through this. And I just hate that we're in that era of take the trendiest thing going and write a song about it. I think it's always been there, kind of. It has. It has. But now it's, it's even further. I up. disagree with that. Disagree with what? That's always been there to take the trendiest thing going. And in the '60s, people were writing about all types of peace, love, and harmony shit because that's what was happening in the yeah. world. Like the same thing when is the, happening. There's now. there's a whole era of Vietnam rock and roll. Word <laughs> from people that did not serve in Vietnam. Uh, yeah, in some cases. Fuck, I'm no governor's son. He was from a privileged family, anyways, bro. Right. <laughs> I love when fucking niggas pull out some examples of from before I was born. I don't know what was happening. In well, the I was 60s. alive in the '60s. I don't know what was happening in the '70s. In the eighties, the same thing that's happening now. In the eighties, when did when would it when did when did that happen? Are you saying that like when uh Cool Herc and them niggas was rapping about crack? Like, is that your example of that? Uh, I think there was <laughs> rappers that had nothing, were never even near crack, never smelt it in their life, and rapped about it all day because it was trendy to rap about. I mean, that's true. Still, I to think, this, I, still I, to this of day. course, I think there's a large amount. People that just really stopped li- rapping about crack like a couple years ago. <laughs> no, people. What are y'all rapping? talking about? When was crack trendy to rap about? What? I'm Selling you. crack? When, well, when the crack was epi- epidemic crack came in? When the crack period? Epi- when the crack epidemic trendy, came in? Trendy, trendy. The nineties hip hop, early two thousands. Yeah. Period. End of sentence. <laughs> All right, maybe I don't know what trendy means. It's the thing that's most talked about. It's the thing that's going on. It's the thing that everyone is paying attention to. Do I think rappers were actually that's rapping? Not, that's not what, sure, that's not what that means to me. I think there was a lot that weren't. Okay, what is that's not what that to means you? to me, which I guess is where I'm falling this crack conversation. Crack was popular. Are y'all popular and trendy is the same to oh, y'all? They, they're yeah. related. Uh, things that are popular can become they're trendy they're related for sure. when they are and, dragged through a popular thing like music. In <laughs> music, when you talk about something that's trendy, I think easy to go along with. Trend. Okay, so trendy means very fashionable or up to date in style or influence. And that's crack has never been fashionable up to date. Selling crack. A drug dealer? Uh, The the image of a drug dealer. You're you're taking one aspect of something. But every rapper. aspect of it. Yeah, but in the. So who in the 80s was rapping about selling crack that was not selling crack? Because if you're rapping about selling crack, that one in aspect... In the 80s, not, not as many. So then, we said so 90s. 90s. We said That's 90s or early 2000s. All right, so when the 90s was rapping about selling crack, that wasn't selling crack. I'm, I'm sure I'm there were gonna, a few, quite I'm a few I'm sure rappers. there was. And I, and I know you know there was. Yeah. That's why I don't need I'm to sure list a bunch of rappers. There, there was a few. But y'all brought that up to refute a point I was making about something being trendy. That's why I started questioning it. Of course it was happening. Trendy today is... I'm going to put the topic that all of you are championing, and that's not crack. That crack was a popular topic. Do you, all right, do you think you didn't? You weren't okay. guaranteed like traction. Trending. You weren't guaranteed. See, and that's I don't. I don't feel like that. Crack was definitely trending in the '80s and '90s. Okay, I'm just pointing out. I to me, the difference is in something being popular. And something being trendy, mm-hmm. and if they both are the same, then I'll shut up. Just because, <laughs> just because one is destructive and one isn't, doesn't change it being trendy or popular. Like, do you think popping pills now is trendy, or this past five years? Maybe not right right now. Put it. Put but it, do you think popping pills was trendy in music? Put it like this, Joe. A lot of a lot. No, of, I think popping pills was popular in music, and it became a trend. You don't think that was a trend? There's definitely people rapping about popping pills. They're, that were not they're, popping their pills. image looks no like they pop pills. Me their hair look like there's they no pop way pills. for me to. There's no way for me to prove that and niggas running around with a bunch of face tats and funny hair don't say to me that oh you guys are the pill poppers mm. like that don't tell me that no but they're it's in their music they're, yeah they're talking about doing it they they, they, they created really a look around the pill popper people want to hear that people like that's the content that people are consumed with that's the con that's the content that people are talking about like even in the 80s and the 90s a lot of the movies that we love from our culture had a lot to do with crack 
crack was somewhere in that movie. New Jack City, Boys in the Hood, Minister Society. Listen, and, lump, and we're, we're lump talking, all that shit in the same boat. I'm, it's low hanging fruit to me. We're, we're talking about. That's we're, what we said. we're talking so about we agree. popular <laughs> culture, not what's really happening. We're not saying that people that were actually selling crack was like, yo, this shit is trendy. We're saying it was brought into popular culture as a thing to make money. Mm -hmm. Same way popping pills is now. Mm -hmm. I'm not, I don't think all these kids are popping pills. I think they make their hair look nuts, their skin look nuts, and they put a face tat on and say, this is what a pill popper looks like in their head because that's pop culture now. And plus, hit songs have been written I'm not with, saying they doing they rhyme it. with codeine and yeah. Xanax, so they, do the same, they use the same rhyme schemes. Same. Yeah, that's, that's all it is. I'm not saying the actual act is trendy. It's destructive, right. but that's what's popular in music. Right. Mm. That's all. That's or, it. or what to what Kanye was saying, what people will push to make popular because they want to keep a certain mindset oh, in our culture. I agree with them on that. So they'll push that type of content instead of pushing a Jesus is King content. I agree with them on that. Although I don't think you necessarily have to go so far left to no. Because I, 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 I think I think you too. could certainly make arguments that uh, religion has been forced and used weaponized in the same manner I, that drugs I think, have. Been. I think religion has been so, more weaponized than anything. Ever to exist More on than this planet. <laughs> Absolutely. I agree with both. And, and I think, and I'm going to choose my words carefully here, I think people that are full-blown into religion are some of the easiest people to manipulate on this earth. Oh, And I think sure. people notice that. Yeah. And there's benefits that come with doing so. From whether you make music or whether you're in politics or whether you're in whatever... And I'm not, for all the, the yay stands, I'm not saying that's what he's doing here. I just think since on the topic of whether it be crack, popping pills, or that, I think religion is one of those things too. Yeah. Religion is trendy, for sure. I, listen, with this Jesus is King shit, I, I feel bad for the hype beast, man. We don't, we don't give them enough sympathy. They was just waiting in line for Supreme or whatever's cool now. <laughs> now they have to go figure out... <laughs> You gotta Bible read the verse? Bible? Like, fuck, I, gotta, I have to join Catholicism? <laughs> this is nuts. I have to go get baptized? You know how hard that is? They're rolling. They're going. They're doing it, though. <laughs> I was Damn. just in line at Kith. The fuck? <laughs> that is a now wild Now I have to learn my sacraments? Yeah. Learn your sacraments, bro. <laughs> so I take it that's our Jesus is King segue. No. Well, yeah. I thought you said that's all we were. I'm sorry. I thought you were saying we were done with Jesus is King. <laughs> <laughs> No, we're not done with Jesus is King. I might be done listening to Jesus is King. Already? Yeah, I don't know. I've given it like maybe eight listens. Oh, yeah, you're done. Why don't you listen to him eight times? Yeah. If it's not sticking. Well, that, that was my biggest thing, Parks, when listening to it. I was like, all right, I don't hate it. Kanye is, is still Kanye West and always will be with production and arranging music. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. It's, it sounds great. It sounds great. And I don't count Ye because I think Ye sounded like piss too. Kanye is back on his production shit and it sounds great. And I'm not talking about the content, but the lyrics are awful. I agree. The his, rapping his itself rapping was and, bad. and singing is, is absolutely horrible. And that has nothing to do with the content. Yeah, nothing not to do the with the content. content. Him actually rapping and singing... Mm -hmm. Is, is just bad. But the music is so fucking good that you kind of look past it and kind of use him as a filler in that shit. I think that's what he was banking on, though. Joe looks displeased. Um, but I was trying to think where I'd listen to it again. Roy, would you stop trying to guess about my displeasure at every Kanye comment? <laughs> like, you've <laughs> you done that no four times already. Just get your take off. <laughs> like, I'm chilling. I have nothing to say because I have nothing to say. I'm just, I think I'm listening I, to you. I agree. <laughs> I, the content doesn't bother me at all. I mean, I think I love gospel music. Uh, I think there's a lot of great gospel rappers, Lecrae, Andy, Mineo, um, mm -hmm. just a couple other that I can't think of off the top of my head. It just wasn't Chance. very good. You have Chance. It just I'm, wasn't was very good. Joke. No, I know. This was just not very good gospel rap to me. But the production was amazing, or at least very good. Um, a lot of people said they didn't like the mixes. I kind of agree, but that's a different story. Um, how, how much is he projected to do this first week? Like, How much did you have him doing? Three. I had him at 265. I think I had him at 225. Price is right rules, you got it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, Maul knew that. Two. Yeah. You had him at what? I had him under two. Yeah. Right wingers came out, bro. <laughs> Donald Trump's son was <laughs> retweeting the album link and shit. They did. They did that. He for might get that they last did that push. Yeah, too though. Oh, they did. Yeah. Oh, okay. It's just the most important album of all time. 
<laughs> music, music aside, I just I, I looked at the uh, the Big Boy interview. Oh, that he much well. much different than the Zane, the Zane one. Yeah, and it it just made me look at I Kanye's just brain in a really interesting place of how he turns that shit on and off. Like at certain times, <laughs> the 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 one thing that stood stood out to me was when he was talking about the one thing from, <laughs> from this interview that the really, one thing that really stood out to the me. The main thing, perhaps that, that stood out Got to it. me was when Big Boy asked him, where he said, "I don't care what Black Twitter is saying, this, that, and the third. And then I was so happy when Big Boy said, "Did you care about White Twitter?" And but right before that, he was going on this rant about he don't care what anybody thinks, what anybody's saying. And then as soon as Big Boy says, "Well, did you, did you care about what White Twitter was saying or what they think?" He said yes. And then he went into how him and the CEO of Twitter, uh, he comes to his house and they hang out. He said he was his favorite founder ever. Yeah, yeah. and, I, and I'm looking at that like, well, that's that's just the narcissism that right bleeds out of this guy that. The his favorite founder becomes the only one that will speak to him, <laughs> right? Because I think last album it was Walt Disney. It was somebody like yeah, Steve it's been Jobs, Steve Jobs yeah. for a decade. Yeah, yeah. I, he was screaming Elon Musk when I was in high school, and I was like, "Who the fuck is Elon yeah. Musk?" And I think that's the thing for Kanye. I think he starts pointing out these guys who always seem to be wealthy white men. Like he always starts saying their name, and then people become so familiar with these names because. Kanye is consistently saying it on every platform he's on. Mm. But the only thing, like, I think Kanye is, I don't think he's crazy like people are quick to say. I'm not a doctor. I can't diagnose somebody as being crazy. I think that he knows that people hang on to his every word. People put so much stock into everything he says and he does. And I think he has fun with that. Like, he plays with it a little bit. Yeah. So he'll say things that he knows is going to trigger Oh, he's definitely a troll. And, oh, yeah, yeah, so, oh, he, he I, does. I, I told y'all, I think he's the when he first came out with the two polo shirts. To me, that was trolling. Yeah, we just didn't classify it back then as trolling. Right, but to me, that was trolling. That was kind of like, I'm just gonna do this and make it cool. 100. percent You know what I mean? Like, I, I I don't think it's cool, but I'm gonna just do it because I think that I'm so cool that I can do anything. And I think that's still the basis of his mind is that Kanye thinks he can sell and do anything. Yeah. But, I, but I think Kanye has fallen into what all the, the viral people that we talk about on Instagram do, but just on a whole nother level of like, all right, you got our attention. We used to listen to Kanye West. Like, mm-hmm. we used to really Still listen do. to... Nah. I listen to some of his Na- old Now shit. we just listen to hear what he has to say for entertainment purposes. It, it's a way different scale of listening. Now mm-hmm. it's kind of just the moment and how the internet works. Mm-hmm. Like, all right, you had our attention for a second because you did something wild, and then we went on about our day. All right. I don't think that's how what Kanye West's career has been prior to the last. Yeah, he used to be influential. Four years. Now he's just entertaining. He's just some. Now yeah. he just be saying shit, and you're like, all right, that's crazy, yeah, and then yeah. you move on. Yeah. <laughs> so it, yeah, he's fallen victim to the. All right, yeah, I see online because he was talking about uh, trending, and if you look, I'm the most searched mm-hmm. word. Like he's looking into the bullshit that really has no real value. It's mm-hmm. just something that people look at because you're Kanye West and you're one of the most popular people in the world, and you're saying something nuts. There's no value to it. Right. It's just some shit. I, I thought it was interesting when he pointed out that he was canceled before there was a cancel culture. Like, that was just interesting to, to see what he thought and felt about that whole period of people just killing him and coming at him and and him not even being on social media. Like, he doesn't, he wasn't really, like, he doesn't, I don't, I think he, he only has a Twitter. He doesn't have Instagram. Yeah, I don't think he has it. But, I mean, listen, I'm not going to probably listen to the album again. I listened to this it maybe two times. entire Jesus is King bullshit that he's doing is because of how he was received the last time he was received uh from the yale from all of that bullshit the that last he summer or around, seven that he was running around doing whenever it was that is why we are getting this jesus is king rollout amongst other reasons the tax yes yeah. amongst the you well know, i mean what he, said, he, said, he said breaks. he said he got 68 million that was uh he was thankful to god for that because he found god he got a 68 million dollar tax break he need to thank Kim for getting his debt <laughs> fucking dealt with. Well, we said a year ago when he first was kind of teetering on the Jesus thing that, all right, yeah, now you're just catering to both worlds. You're getting the white Republican, I love Jesus crowd, right. and then you're going back to what your original demo was, and then you think you found a middle ground. Yeah. But I just, even at 
twenty. What'd you say? Two hundred seventy-five thousand. Uh, I still don't think it means much. No, no. I don't think. I know it that sounds nice to people, life. and you could argue me, but I don't think there's value to that two seventy-five. No. I don't. That doesn't change. His yeah, life. I, I mean, I think I think he'll see it in his touring. I think him sticking to this close Sunday service thing will mask that yeah. about the people that would come out and see him. Yeah, because he's probably not doing it in the biggest of theaters. Nope. Yeah. Well, I mean, nope. he did it at the uh, the forum, right? I don't know. He had a, he had a show at the forum, I think, this past weekend. Listen, man, it's just another day in the life of Kanye, I guess. I don't know. But overall, the album to me is nothing that I'm going to go back and listen to. Yeah, I'm good. I'm good on the album. All right. So what do y'all think about Kanye telling black people that they don't have culture? Where do you say that? Again, I'm a, I'm to a point with Kanye. I don't think that was with Big Boy. Big Boy. It, was, it was a Big Boy. Well, he, I think, yeah, he was saying something he named, about... He named a bunch of shit that didn't have anything to do with black culture. Right. If you really no. just get into Kanye, I don't see how but that's people... What I'm saying. I don't, he I don't said, see how people could, could feel like he don't hate himself. He said that black might people be, don't that might be he, That might be a part of it, too. He certainly hates himself, and I... Did he have any like justification behind that? Like, did he expound on what? I guess uh, I think mostly he was trying to say we don't own. He said yeah, he was, oh, he was okay. suggesting that, that we don't social media, shit. but it's owned by white people. Yeah, yeah. Like we don't. That's own not nothing. culture. That's ownership. That's, that's a different thing. He was naming it's a bunch of shit that had nothing to do with black culture, and just saying shit that black people like, like cars, and saying yeah. that's not our shit. High end fashion, like it. It was a very that's random thought that was not. <laughs> Correct and, and like and, like and, the album is, yeah. Kind of. Everything for Kanye comes back to him trying to sell a product. Because even when he's talking, or get a tax him, break, or get a tax break. Because even when you hear him talk, it's, it's you know what I did with the Yeezy and what I did with this and what I'm trying to do with. Which now I understand why he was so cool with Trump about the whole bringing manufacture uh, factories back to America. Because what he said was Zane Lowe is he wants to be able to produce the Yeezy brand here in America. That's okay. why he bought the Wyoming or wherever the fuck he is. So now all Shit. of that whole relationship with Trump thing makes sense to me now. And I was thinking <laughs> because it's like, oh, Trump is that's that's the, that's oh the God. that's the shit that he's on. He wants to bring factories back to America. And well, it's curious you mentioned the Zane thing to that point of when he asked why Wyoming and Kanye didn't answer it. Really, didn't really answer it at all. Right. If I was smarter, I would try to figure out exactly what the tax breaks and what the type of shit in that area is. Because oh. that's why when he was talking about building factories in there, I was like, oh, this is calculated. Oh, sure. he, that's he has, a, he has a deal with somebody him. already. Yeah. yeah, it all comes back to him trying to sell and produce his brand, his his clothing. That's what this is. Like, even him wearing this Jesus is King shirt, he knows the, the hype beats are going to go crazy. They're going to want that. They're going to go rush to buy it. Like, it all comes back to him just trying to sell his product. I'll be curious to see how this all translates I know, to yeah, the y'all, hype yeah, y'all continue to fuck with somebody that's that has shown to be so self-serving all of the time. What do you mean? Define fuck, fuck with. What does self-serving mean? It means no, he said, serving no, no, no. himself. He said defi- like, said, how you mean we fuck with him? I said fuck define with? fuck with. Not, he is self-serving. Kanye is definitely self-serving. Yeah, that is 100%. without question. I don't own a single pair of Yeezys. Me either. Not one. I don't own a single Yeezy merch. Like, nothing. I think he's a, I think he's a, a musical genius. I think he's great at, at, at making music and creating. I think he's uh, great at creating, but I don't... His his thought process and the way t- things that he says, I can't really fuck with somebody like that. That's just me, though. But I don't think he's a bad person. I just think that he's consumed with himself. Yeah, I'm just curious what fuck with means. Yeah, we don't have to waste time with what fuck with means. What does fuck with mean? <laughs> is, is listening to a project yes. fucking with? But- that's a valid question because I don't really fuck with anything that Easy stands for, but I did listen to the project. A <laughs> yeah, times. I don't think listening to an album means I fuck with somebody. Why not? It means I listen to an album. If you listen to every album, that's fucking with. No, it's no. not. How not so? That's no, it's not, not Joe. I if to I listen a... to every album you put out, I fuck with you. What are you talking about? So what no, are you talking about? Well, not, definitely no, not no, for no. us. And that first of all, yeah, if he was on that bullshit from album one to now, and I was wholeheartedly a fan from album one, he was on that bullshit. You keep adding sentences. If I listen to every project somebody puts out, I fuck with them. No, if what if, more if of a com- definition? If they, do you if mean? they completely I think if you change, champion it, and you push the project, you say, "Oh, this is dope." This is because I know some people that love this project, and I know why they love it because they love him. But that's what fuck with me. So I gotta hear if you put out eight it, so albums not on a certain and place. tell people it's dope to fuck with it. <laughs> I usually, yeah. usually fuck with it. I got it. I'm done with this Kanye topic. Whatever y'all want to do, <laughs> you been done, bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, it's cool. It's bro. cool. Just, that's what it is. 
Yeah, but y'all know I'm done. I'm only I'm done because I haven't heard anything. I haven't heard. I, I wasn't listening to interviews after he told black people they didn't have any culture. So I was done with the inter- I was done with the interviews, and I wasn't going to listen to the music. So outside of the snippets, and the snippets sounded the snippets to me sounded like the 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 first the first the first the intro sounded heavenly. Yeah, it was. Yeah, no Kanye on it too. Sounded really heavenly. I liked it a lot. Track two, I had no idea what the fuck he was talking about. I'm lost. Jesus, I'm, I'm, I'm out of here. I'm out of here. Yeah, but don't Jesus me on a hip hop album because right at the top of iTunes it tells me this is a hip hop album. So <laughs> is this a gospel album or a hip hop album? It was a gospel album. It under hip hop. I'm, I'm Everything that. about this nigga is a scam. Yeah, yeah, y'all can, <laughs> yeah, y'all continue to come in here and tell me about how he's a stand up dude who made 808s and Heartbreak. I, not, not one person in here has said he's a stand up yeah, dude. You, I love you niggas when it comes to Kanye. Track three. I played that. I said, oh shit, this beat might have been something if Ye didn't lose his fucking mind. <laughs> if Ye was Ye, ooh, I see where this might have been Ye, but he ain't Ye. So what the fuck am I listening to this track three for? Track four, more track two. No, no idea what's going on. I was lost up until the clips track where I was like, ooh, this would be hard if Ye was Ye, but he's not Ye. So it's not. And that was my album review based off snippets. I like okay. taking the clips together again, but I wish they would have given us more than eight each. They were supposed yeah. to go. Yeah. Well, no. I liked the eight. Push don't want to rap about Jesus for more than eight. <laughs> they were yeah, to, I was about to say, Push ain't going for more than eight about Jesus. They were Jesus. supposed to go on the, on the gospel hop album. <laughs> I do love, uh, please click the lyrics on Use This Gospel, Scream In. I do love when drug dealers or ex-drug dealers just take an old white person and that's the simile for bricks. <laughs> they just find any white person, <laughs> and that's what. What did they? What did, they, what did Malice call <laughs> the bricks? The Barry Manilows. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, caught in the trunk with the Barry Manilow. Wait, I, I love when rappers do that. Wait, Barry Manilow's white? <laughs> Is he not? Barry? <laughs> Nigga's been my he, he complexion my whole life. He tans a lot. Ah, <laughs> oh, he snuck Manilow by me. I didn't think that was a a white name. Yeah, it is. Barry Manilow sure. is white as shit, man. <laughs> Very white. It looks like He's Parks. white like J-Lo is white. <laughs> he nah. does. Barry Manilow looks like Parks. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's what I'll be for Halloween. There you go. Yeah, Just throw that. a suit on. <laughs> that's Easy Barry costume. Manilow? Yeah. Yes. Oh, why he look like the dude they made the movie about in the wheelchair that was a genius, but he <laughs> was <Joe>. in a wheelchair? <laughs> <laughs> what, was, what movie was that? <laughs> Where the nigga was a genius, but he, was, oh, he couldn't, he that's couldn't a real, walk. It's a, a real person. Was it Barry Manilow? <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Barry Manilow was a genius. He wasn't it. Stephen Hawking. Why Barry Manilow look like, look like the first Rod Stewart? <laughs> he does look like Rod Stewart. I think he was the second Rod Stewart, but yeah. Wait, this nigga's younger than Rod Stewart? <laughs> yes, I think so. Oh, speaking of, man, I'm going to play this little clip for y'all. Just, you, damn, just, you, damn, what Rod did, man. <laughs> I'm going to play this little clip for y'all only because we was talking about uh, the Rolling Stones top 100 list or whatever. So, yeah. Man, poor. And, and <laughs> oh, I was going to talk about that when we were talking about earlier. This shit is hilarious. <laughs> All right. White people, that's how we get our shit off. This is y'all. <laughs> <laughs> White people. <laughs> Black people. White this people. This is how we this, get our shit off. This is you again, white people. <laughs> this is another white person. Look, white harmony. <laughs> yo, Mike was looking at these niggas like. Mike was looking at Quincy like, yo, why you got They don't get Cindy Lauper bum ass away from me. Was oh, like, that, was, that was like, yes, Jules to Mike. <laughs> It was looking at he was looking at Quincy Jones like man what, what you got me in here come on man I'm doing my feet was not white people just put a little bit of gruff in their voice to add the soul yeah they call the soul yeah <laughs> scream a little louder <laughs> that's, that's soul that's the soul that's the soul yeah it's white soul Wait, gruff <laughs> yeah, yeah that is a funny ass white, word white people <laughs> growl on the mic that's, oh, that's all it is it's that's y- the white years, soul, years of mining that's all it is all right <laughs> come on let's get off of white soul and let's talk about some black soul let's talk about Summer Walker. And her shower regimen. <laughs> Come on, Maul, defend it. It's kind of white people-ish if you Those think about it. Those are great products, by the way. <laughs> Tell the listeners what you're talking about, Maul. No, uh, don't plug is, the products. I believe this is Summer Walker's <laughs> washing bowl. 
That, these are the products that she used. Somebody some, tell us some, why we're Summer Walker on her washable. IG story. Scream man, go back, please. Uh, Summer Walker on her IG story posted the product she uses when she bathes herself in a bowl and said, my washing bowl, LOL. I get to wash in my bowl. I hate showers. We should answer that. Hello. Peace to the brother. What's going on, Nori? This is Joe Budden from the Joe Budden Podcast. We are live on air as you are calling me. How are you doing, my good brother? Oh, this is so awesome. This is so awesome. <laughs> <laughs> this is so awesome. Yeah, this is so awesome. I was call- You know what I was calling you to ask? It was like, you know, between my, my two interviews, between Troy Ave interview and me doing this oh, Kanye, oh, giving wait. my... Oh, nastiness. Nasty, nasty. I forgot to tell you, you was nasty for that, Nori. I was I was out of line. You which, which one? Troy Ave. Troy Ave that, that or was, Kanye? No, Troy okay. Ave was a little nasty, man. So, so you wouldn't have a, a conversation with a Republican? You wouldn't do that? On air? Troy Ave is a Republican? On air? <laughs> you know what I mean? So, someone that you don't agree with. Like someone you don't agree with. Someone Because I clearly asked him, are you going to take the stand? Are you going to you went the other way? So I thought as a person... As a street person, I thought I was doing the right thing. But here, here's what I'll tell you, Joe. Nori. If I did the wrong thing, if I did the wrong thing, I, I'm apologetic about it. I'm apologetic oh, okay. about it if if I did the wrong thing because I've never received uh, a backlash like I've received from that. <laughs> but, <laughs> so obviously I think I'm... Obviously, I think I'm wrong. Like I'm, I'm, I'm a Virgo. It takes me a lot to admit when I'm yeah, wrong. Yeah, I feel but, you. I feel that's, that's Virgo so, shit. Listen, yeah. listen, you niggas did that nasty little trailer, man. <laughs> the nasty, the Ooh. teaser trailer promo for Troy. <laughs> and Nori, my my I, favorite I part was the response video where old Nori and new Nori met each other. You were jogging around a white neighborhood, and then old Nori came out when you started threatening everybody <laughs> and told them to step I up. Kept- not, not one of my not one of my proudest moments. Not one of my proudest <laughs> hey, moments. Hey, hey, and I gotta say, I watched that whole fucking interview, man. It was like three hours. Yes, yes, yes. But, but anyway, now, Kanye, enough of that. Now, Kanye, Kanye. Now I'm going through this Kanye thing, and I feel. Wait, like what little, are you going through? Uh, because I said Kanye's album is trash, and it's trash. Right? It is trash. It is trash. It is trash. trash. It's it bad. Is trash. But that's. But you think I should have worded it as that was my personal opinion? Because I think people are trying to. They're tagging me now. Everything that's good about Kanye, everything that's bad about Kanye. <laughs> they're, oh, they're no, you're getting a, you're getting a storm to your phone right now. That's if, what happened. As if I got something personal with Kanye, and I don't. That's not, that's not, and I know you're a guy who, who deal with a lot of controversy. So this is me humbly coming to you, like, a, 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 for advice. Like, should I just, get, don't give a fuck and just keep moving on, or One, should I address it again? N- no, nah, call it, trash it, again. No, Nori, trash is yeah. trash. Double down on it. You were honest about it. Okay. I think that's most of our opinions about this this project. Uh, I was trying to have an honest what? conversation about Kanye, period, with my co-host, but they're pussy and afraid of him, so we couldn't do that. <laughs> All right. Because uh, they, they want free Yeezys, too. I don't yeah, blame them. They want free yeah, Yeezys, too. Yeah, yeah, I don't, yeah, I don't, yeah, I don't, yeah. I know me better than that. Them. Yeah, so we really couldn't get into it here, but yeah, yeah, that's y'all dude. That's y'all dude. Right. I, I, I keep him in my prayers, and I hope that he's all right. And that's, that's yeah, as far I, I, as it goes for me. I do so too. I do so too. You well, well don't thank you, brother. Cut it thank, out. thank all of y'all in the room. I appreciate. I appreciate me calling it at the correct time. I don't know why. I think God just said, "Let's call Joe right now." No, that was, was Jesus. That was yo, yo, yeah. Jesus, is, <laughs> Jesus is King. Nori, you to call. Hey, Nori, real, 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 real quick while uh-huh. I got you on, let's talk some shit behind Charlemagne's back. Uh, you think? Uh, uh, yes, you yes. think this? He was out of line. He was. He was yeah, out of line. He was out of line. He was out of line. Because you know why? Listen, Charlemagne is a great friend of mine. I love him. But it's no matter what, I can't let nobody talk about Capone and me sat, sat, sat there and laugh. Because at the end of the day, it seems like it's, I'm co-signing them. You know what I'm saying? So me and Capone will go through our shit. But guess what? It's always going to be between me and Capone. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, so that's the reason why. When I looked at it after a couple of weeks, because I called him and I asked him how he felt about it. And he felt that, you know, he, he shouldn't censor artists, which I do not want to censor artists. That's, me neither. that's true. <clears throat> but sometimes... You can not censor an artist and edit a nigga out. <laughs> yes, not censor. Yeah, I, I, I agree with you. And the fact is, we're going through all this Me Too movement. We're going through all, all this. It, it doesn't matter. A man should be 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 beefing <coughs> in, in that public eye right now. So it's 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 it's. I, I, I feel like the two weeks. I think uh, Charlemagne was wrong. I think I tell you who's really wrong. I think Envy is more wrong. Um, <gasps> and and, and Envy? I think Envy was more wrong. 
Yeah, because for what I felt like it was Envy who brought up that clip. Envy who brought up the clip, as opposed to uh, Angela Yee. And um, you should never bring up a man's wife, ever, ever, never, ever, 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 ever. Mm, yeah. Like I, I listen. Me by being famous, you could talk about me all you want. Talk about my big lips. Talk about I got big teeth. I got talk about whatever. I don't care. But leave my fucking family out of it. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Leave my family out of it. That's whole stance nope. too. <laughs> yeah. So um, and that's that's what Envy represents. That's like, what Envy I'm saying. Envy represents this fam family orientated man. So when I look back at it, and I saw, I should have probably called Envy and said that because when I look at it, <laughs> yeah. So I'm probably just as wrong right now. So, um, but when I looked at Juice, um, Gucci, excuse me, when I looked at Gucci man's sincerity and his face, I I agree with him about about like don't bring up my wife, don't don't do that. So, but I, I tell you what, this is some weird thing because the Breakfast Club is one of the most powerful shows in hip hop. Like to, to see that, to see a uh, uh, bicker or quarrels going on inside, and it's not like it's 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 not like it's it's hidden. It's just through the industry. Everyone's talking about this. So um, I think it's a little crazy. I think Charlamagne got a little crazy. Did you see? Uh, did you see recently? Angela Yee broke her silence. <laughs> oh no! Yeah. I, I, I've been dealing with Kanye West fans and his fans. So, <laughs> you had your hands full. I've, yeah, I've been wondering like, are these niggas serious? Because they, and they're calling me. Let me just tell people something. I want to be clear. I've been out since 1997. I am 42 years old. I am not 900. Niggas keep calling me old heads. Kanye West is older than me. <laughs> Rick Ross is older than me, Bozo. Pusha yeah. T is older than me. I just been out since I was 97. So you think I'm 900 years old? Niggas yeah. think I was out when Jesus was out. Yeah. I was not. Yeah. I was not. Hey, Nori, check For this real. out. Even if you're older than Pusha T, not in my mind, buddy. <laughs> I mean, hey, even if Pusha is older than you, not in my mind. No, you are older I than Pusha T in my brain. I, I get it, but we were in, in all actuality, it, that's not the case. It's just I got lucky. I got put on first. Mm -hmm. I got put on first. I was I was lucky enough to get out the, the hood first, but we are the same age. You can't take away from the fact that we're both <laughs> born in 1997. Right. We're both born in 1997, motherfuckers. No, you know a, what I'm saying? So, no, I'm going to take away from that. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to take away from yeah, that. Yeah, for, Where you at right real, now? Because I'll be hating that. Well, I just landed. I'm, I'm, I'm back. We just got back from L.A. Big up to Revolt. We know you're getting the Revolt checks as well. Big up to Revolt Summit. <laughs> um, uh, it, was, it was dope out there. It was real good to see uh, our people networking in peace, too. I came with 25 people. Not one incident. Not one uh, 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 nothing. It was all great. We got to see the chairman. Uh, Wait, Nori, got to see, Nori, uh, Nori, 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 before, uh, before I let you continue. You, you still, because uh -huh. you, you're 42, you still travel with 25 other men? You know why? Because I don't like to go into other people's world. I like to stay in my world. No Are you still where doing I go, that so. whole left rack thing? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's not. It's it's it's, it's actually it, it actually transitioned into drink chance because drink chance is actually three different crews. It's a you gang. Realize, no, yeah, I know it's, it's a gang. It's, it's, no, it's like no, Boogie Down Productions. You want to say gang? <laughs> no, no, no. Sounds like a Rico like, case. It's like um Beastie Boys. It's like the Beastie Boys. Like you know what I mean? Because I mean, Boogie Down Productions, you know, Karis One still, still throwing people off stage. So we were like the beast because we don't represent violence at all. We represent having fun and being, you know, being creative mm. and staying in our own world. You know what I'm saying? Stay, and, and, and getting drinks and having drinks. And, you know, we're not violent drunks. We're not violent drunks. We're happy I like drunks. that. You know what I'm saying? Well, well listen, we're happy I, I, can't, I can't wait till I come back up there and, and, and yes. we get to chop it up because I, I have a few things to talk to you all about. A lot has transpired yes. since my last time up there. <laughs> but, yeah, I can't. No problem. You, you still smoke cigarettes or you stop smoking cigarettes? Unfortunately, yeah, I do. Okay, we're gonna get we gotta get we gotta start the campaign, get Joe Buttons off, off cigarettes in twenty twenty. Well you this you, is a you, big you quit? campaign. You quit? Yes, I quit. I just smoke more marijuana now. Yes, yes, I just smoke more marijuana. Uh, yes. Wait a fuck. Yes. Nori quit, you wait, wait, quit. wait, 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 wait. Yes, Nori quit you cigarettes quit before cigarettes? Joe. This yeah, yes, this is terrible. Nori quit before Joe. Yeah, that's and how I felt. We both love him. cigarettes. We wait both up. love cigarettes. Wait, when did you quit? <laughs> I'm, I'm a year now. I'm, I'm a year now. Actually, oh! actually, I'm two years. It, Jan, Jan, January 17th will be two years. January 17th. So wow. I'm going up Come two, on years. two years. Now. You uh, bitch ass yep. nigga. You didn't tell me you quit I, you, cigs. You were allowed to. Oh, the cig <laughs> challenge. Challenge me to a <laughs> cig. Oh, man. Yeah. I'm quitting now. It ain't going to be you and my yeah. ex. No, 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 yeah. no. I'm quitting. Yeah. How'd you do it, yeah. though? Honestly. Uh, actually, CBD. CBD. I used to, I, when I go to LA, because I, what happened was I used to vape, and vaping is not going to help you. Vaping is, is is not good for me. For me, it didn't work for me. That shit didn't work but for me. But what I realized, 
I was addicted to lighting the actual, I was actually addicted to the, the actual, like taking a lighter and lighting it. So what happened is I replaced the cigarettes with CBD. And um, obviously I had to do that in LA because you can't just walk around smoking weed at, mm-hmm. everywhere in New York and in and, 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 and Miami. But so I, I did it for LA for two months. And when I came back, it was like, um, I just stuck with it. Yep, stuck with it. So it's the best I, decision of my life. I don't know if best I, could listen, if I could still listen to the war report. This nigga don't even smoke cigs. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, man, I know I'm different. Listen, man, I know I'm different, man. I know I'm different. No, man, you, no, my- no, that was the kick that that was the kick in the ass I needed. If if you quit and you and I have been smoking yeah. for a long time, I'm yeah. gonna I'm gonna yeah. join you because I, I do I want to live, yeah. man. I'm the only dinosaur ass nigga out here smoking fucking cigarettes like an idiot. What? Well, you know, as an ex-cigarette guy, I'm giving you till 2020, and after that, 2020, we starting a whole campaign. I get whole campaign. I'm not turning 40 I'm, smoking. I'm not turning 40 smoking. It's not happening. Uh, okay, now. I'm just, I'm just letting you know. <laughs> okay, I'm just now. letting you know. Listen, Nori, thank you for well, calling. When I get to Miami, thank I'm, you guys I'm, I'm hollering at you. you. We love you. Don't have yeah. Troy Ave on your show again, and Duck the Kanye oh, stands. I'm, I, I apologize. All right, y'all. One All right, peace, peace, peace. Well, that was good to hear from Nori. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Always good to hear from Nori. People call me on Tuesdays. <laughs> um, Summer Walker. Back to Summer Walker. Uh, where were we at with Summer Walker? Over the weekend, Summer Walker put out a bowl of fucking shower materials. And that's why I really like the weekend on Twitter. Because that's when y'all <laughs> just attack people for shit that y'all don't really, really, really care about. So let's no. get into it. Summer Walker... Y'all said she doesn't shower because she put out a bath bowl and said, with I hate some showers. Johnson and Johnson uh, shower gel and said, I hate showers. Now, Maul, how do you defend liking such a stink queen? I don't think Summer Walker stinks at all. I think she smells great. Oh, you one of the people that don't smell the smell that's in the room. No, I smell, smell the smell. The smell. <laughs> <laughs> I, I know I can smell the smell. You don't think, you don't think so? No, I, 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 can, I can tell. Listen, man. Can you overlook the smell? Hell Well, the internet had a lot to say about it, buddy. (laughs) (laughs) React. She had a lot to say back. She Uh, back. Summer Walker said, I take showers. I don't (laughs) like them because I like baths. Hold on, relax. Let's start at the first sentence. (laughs) I take showers. (laughs) I don't like them because I like baths in a very nice jacuzzi or garden tubs. If I don't have time or whatever, I'll take a whole bath in the sink. Something that every female has taken in their lives. Yes, I use soap. That's, <laughs> well, she posted soap. So. That's what there was a Summer lot of soap. A lot of many soaps. In return, in response. Look at all these soaps. She got Listen, baby man, soap. There's, there's, got... A, there's a theme here with women that make great music because they accused Janae of the same thing. Uh, well, she also they said they didn't accuse her. She, she said. came out and said, "I don't like showering." Well, yeah. SZA also said she doesn't like putting on lotion. So I think there's a there's a theme here, and it has to do with great music. So all you guys should shut the fuck up and let them bathe the way they want to bathe. You're right, Roy. Well, that's <laughs> but that's what it is. Like there, people are holding on to don't take showers as meaning she doesn't take a bath. No, nah, they all look a little, she, they all look a little funky now. <laughs> now that I think about it, <laughs> Janae looks funky. Come on, Ari Lennox, your turn. Show, show us your your bath. <laughs> Come on, let's get a toy. Come on. Let's get a Cribs edition of your bathroom. <laughs> Y'all are stupid. Man. That's a great show. Yeah. I would watch Come this on. show. Is it Dove? What is it? Listen, I want to say two things. Bar in, soap? In, in defense of Dr. Brommers? Two things in defense of Summer Walker really quickly. Number one, I think Summer Walker is on tour. Mm-hmm. And that's important to note. Tour bus showers dirty. No one. Let me. I repeat. Well, I didn't say it, so I'm not repeating. Um, <laughs> let me say this for all of the people who have no idea what tour life is like. No artist in the history of artisting has gone on tour and showered every day. <laughs> what? You can't say that. I can say. No, that. you can say that. I can, no, that's a that every is a fact. Every artist has there not taken not a shower every day. No, no, no. You've, no, you've no, at least no, no, you've missed you missed one. It's not what I said. What did you say? I said every artist that has been on tour mm-hmm. has not showered every day. Has missed a, that is they've a missed a shower. That is, that is, that one, is 100%. Maul, yeah. don't tell it's me. A, there's a fact. Y'all are sick. Our man. Colorado to Texas run, he was just running in the shower? I don't think so. <laughs> yes. We didn't have much time before. He had a bowl. He had a bowl. <laughs> we, we weren't on tour. Our schedule wasn't that tight. You, it was Maul, time to shower. Maul does get in the bowl. Yeah, he gets a bowl. You He's get a, a bowl, bowl guy. A little <laughs> bath, a uh, bird take, bath. Uh, I take showers. Excuse me, concierge. I need a steel bowl and some soap. Yeah, I'm you think I'm lying when I say that? Every artist, every that on us. tour more. You've been on tour. You yeah. know about tour. You know what comes with that life. Yes. That's what I'm saying. 
answer to it. Yeah, yeah when you're in the back of the that. Tahoe driving from Iowa to Denver, you might just hop on stage. <laughs> Those yeah, are just our tour conditions. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, that's what I'm everybody saying. Everybody else is Everybody kinda, doesn't have the same chilling. tour conditions. Like, Summer some people have really those, good. Those same tour conditions. I will never forgive Tech Nine for some of the places that he had me showering <laughs> on that fucking Tech Nine tour. Yeah. At the gas station with the hose? <laughs> oh, my. Yeah, not the, not the hose. The hose. The hose, the yeah. Hose, yeah. <laughs> Not the hose. The, the hose. thing that plays that has water on the side of a gas station. <laughs> no, the hose would have been helpful, Rory, to be honest. Like the hose I would have felt like I was getting a nice clean bath in. Yeah, I'm but talking about different. the gas station showers. Yeah, but Slaughterhouse <laughs> no, shouldn't slow be... No, slow down, buddy. Slaughterhouse shouldn't be taking showers. In Let's nice focus showers. on... Keep it funky. Yeah, it's Slaughterhouse. If, you have, if you've ever been... They kept it funky. ...to one of the gas stations where the yes. truck, truck stops, stops. The yeah. truck stops, yeah. Yeah. where you shower, where they sell the shower shit and underwear in the same bodega yeah. that they sell the candy in... Mm-hmm. <laughs> it is nasty. Yeah. I know what you're thinking. You're safe with the shower shoes. They sell it. They sell it right there by the cashier by the register. Guess what, buddy? Oh chapstick. no. Yeah. Oh no. No 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 no. Oh no. Hey, the back of your heel or your big toe is gonna touch the ground. One hundred percent. The shower nasty ground. You know the nasty ground. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all know the nasty ground. It ain't like it's just me. It's just, it looks like your, an athlete's foot. Your foot, if you see all the feet that are uh, presided here before yours. Yeah. It is disgusting. You don't just wash everything in there. No. You don't. No. Yeah, but Joe, every artist doesn't go through those conditions. That's why I'm saying every artist. I'm asking what the fuck career, was career, Tech Nine and Travis thinking? <laughs> yeah, but, but the, y'all slaughterhouse. Where were y'all supposed to be bathing at the Waldorf Astoria? <laughs> I, I Ideally, was, I was right there in the bunk. You niggas, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be funky tonight. Listen, keep it funky. listen, when you bask in your funk for long enough, you don't know that it's funk. You don't smell it yeah, anymore. You don't regular. smell none. You yeah. don't feel none. All of that you must know, is yeah, just there. It's your, yours. Your nose stopped working. Yeah. I felt like I would be cleaner uh, living in the funk than showering in some of those nasty trucks. Was this stops. a summer tour? I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't remember. No, it wasn't. I don't think it, it was a summertime. I don't think so. And y'all have definitely fucked a chick that doesn't shower every day. It's happened. Sorry. I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but that has happened to as you. Grown, Joe's right. As a grown man? Yes. No. What's grown Yes, man? you yeah, have more. At what age, age were you a grown man? Me <laughs> you telling me I've had sex with a grown woman that doesn't shower every day? That did not I had one. shower every day. Not that does not out of habit, but that does that has, hasn't. As a grown woman? She missed the day. She missed Wednesday. Oh, but by the time she got to me, that ass was washed. I don't know what she. <laughs> I'm not, I don't know what she did on Tuesday, but Friday you, night you, that you, ass was. You throw them in the shower first. Yeah, you, huh? turn, you turn on the tub. Oh, what you can smell when a woman you got has a boil in the tub. You can tell when a woman is taking a shower. You go in the mall hotel. Good. That shower is running. Yeah, like the fuck. Yeah, <laughs> smell no, 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 funky. No, no, take a minute. Which is yeah. abuse. No, you. If you smell funky, you getting in the shower. I can't. No, we not doing. She's so gonna make a chick shower. Absolutely. How you gonna make sh- someone get in the shower? Let me hear. Let me hear what you gonna do. I don't put the put the bowls uh, thing right there in the, sh- in the in the bathroom. Turn some R and B on. Light some candles. <laughs> she's gonna set a trap. She's just gonna <laughs> gonna walk her way in gotta, there. Yeah, you gotta light all the little tea candles. You know the little tea candles. Yeah. You just light them on the floor. Just light the way to the shower. Some R and B. Pass the pass the bed. Yeah, put some eucalyptus plants trap. in the shower. You know, make it look like a garden. <laughs> but just this, trick her. But the make summer it look like a garden. Shut the doors. Yeah, yeah, shut <laughs> the door. Walk in. Yeah, tell her that she's not coming out. But the whole summer not showering <laughs> topic didn't lead didn't lead my mind to women that aren't showering. It led me to the women that are showering but just still look stink. <laughs> yeah. Oh well, that's not. That's that, not good yeah, at it. Yeah. No, that's that's, it, yeah. that's not shower. They don't, they don't wash their else. legs. <laughs> they don't exfoliate. That skin look dead. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Y'all laughing, but that shit is disgusting. Yeah. But some some are clearly washes. I don't want to sp- clearly, right? Clearly. This <laughs> nigga mall with cake. <laughs> what color is that cake? She has products. What are you oh, talking about? That's blue, right? No, she's showing us her bath product. She's showing us baby oil gel. That's foam you don't even bath. use that in the shower. That's foam and bath. <laughs> There's three different like, baths. Do not use baby oil gel in the shower. I'm just no, saying. Well, you could throw it in a no. bath and it's No, nice. when she get out, she don't... She don't no, try. I know what, no, that's See, I know what Summer's <laughs> doing. See, y'all, don't, y'all not looking at this correctly. I know what Summer's doing. First of all, doing? she has facial facial wash right there. Then see, the the, the Johnson no. baby oil gel is for... She doesn't, down. she doesn't dry off when she get out the shower. Her, her skin is still kind of moist. Yeah, you got mm-hmm. to trap the moisture. And she puts that on. Yeah, I'm saying? I know that. I know this flow right here. What about the Epsom salt? 
No, that's foam and bath. See, it's a liquid. It's Epsom salt in it. No, no, no. I'm but telling you, you that that don't clean you. Epsom salt? <laughs> yeah, sure no, it it's does. foam and bath with pure the, with the, Epsom salt. The foam and bath don't. That's not doing it. Yeah, you put that in the tub, you're good. That doesn't clean you. More. If you put that in the More. tub, it's foaming. It's the, like you have to still wash your body. Foam, but foam don't really she wants clean to sit you. in the tub and relax. It says relax. <laughs> the bubbles and ain't gonna do it. The bubbles. Yeah, what <laughs> no. is more talking about? No, it says relax and relief. But she's taking a bubble bath. You think she got relief after that? I, I mean, I hope so. She sounds like she the did. salts will do it. You're gonna want to beat no matter what. Just say that. No, it's not about wanting to beat. <laughs> I wish he would just I say. Just, I know this flow. Yo, right she could not shower I've for seen, a year. I've seen and these not products. Changing a year. Anything from me. I've seen these products. I know what that that I know what her mix is right there. That ain't that ain't foreign to me. I know what that is. I know what the baby wipes is for. <laughs> yeah. Oh shit! There's huggies in there. Yeah. Yeah, some mistake, man. How? How does this say a woman stinks? Because you don't. There's nothing in here. If that, you don't see baby wipes, you would say okay. There's nothing in here that's going to equal clean. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? Her face will be clean. Her ass will be clean. <laughs> so what? Else? If her face and her ass is clean, wait, like, where did you y'all clean? get her ass is clean? The huggies. Oh, that'll clean it. <laughs> oh wait, no, no, but the huggies. That's, could be, the, oh, you that's the whole bath she's talking about. No, 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 no. The huggies. The huggies could be to remove makeup because she has facial wash. So maybe she's wiping the makeup You've off. You've never the seen Summer remove makeup. It's no, always I've, there. No, I've never seen her do anything other. Her than Her face today is a collection of the makeup she's worn over the past ten years. <laughs> See, <laughs> now you just try to shit on Summer. See, that's what you're doing. No, I'm With not going to let you do that. No, I'm just talking shit. I know. I don't want to shit on Summer. She's got a great album, but she dirty. Look, she has toning. <laughs> she has some toning, some some toning for her face. I see what she, she can't doing. do that. This after she was talking about the homeless people in L.A. That's my only thing. Like, if them niggas dirty, guess what, bitch? Because <laughs> those are some of the nicest homeless people on the street. True. In L.A., they got mansion tents. Mansion and, tent. And great weather. Bro, it's not a mansion tent. It's a mansion tent. No, that was funny. No, if they got the multiple rooms, that's a mansion <laughs> yeah. tent for sure. A mansion tent is funny. <laughs> <laughs> London dirty ass making beats too. You dirty too, nigga. <laughs> Look how a story get made up. <laughs> London. London dirty. can be the cleanest nigga in the world. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Like, what nah, you nasty now. You nasty. Fuck it. They share a bowl. <laughs> yeah, you done with the a- bowl? Everyone steals their girls' products. That's what he's stealing. <laughs> For sure. That's true. Bird baths are just funny. Why? <laughs> it's funnier when you call them hoe baths. Well, I wouldn't call it a hoe bath, and no man should be able to say that. She can say that, but we can't say that. A hoe bath, it's funny. That's just a funny terminology. Because <laughs> it's called a bird bath. We've all taken a hoe bath. For sure. With, out of our hoe bag. <laughs> from, from the, week, the weekender. <laughs> I got the Don't be bag. above it. <laughs> I know, I'm trying to think if I ever did a whole bath. You definitely did a whole bath. No, I've taken a whole bath, but why did I do that? <laughs> to go home. <laughs> <laughs> to go home. Because maybe you double booked that day and you had to get exactly. some shit off. Exactly. Okay, and I you didn't, didn't want to take a full shower before she came. Okay, no, I didn't double book that day and that's not the reason why. So now, <laughs> come on, let's get into Angela E. breaking her song. <laughs> <sighs> Once again, another brave woman. True. True. How brave was she, Rory? <laughs> I'm glad she broke her silence. She, she she speaks every day. <laughs> Angela Yee's on for a, a living. She's on the radio every and a podcast day. Wait. She's on tour for her podcast what right now. What silence did she break? Nah, she, she broke the silent. silence. Angela has been out chilling all nah, weekend. Like, nah, like she I was silent. Her. She was silent a little bit. Oh my god, Roy, what did she say when she wasn't silent? From this whole interview, obviously Charlamagne sat down with him. A lot of people are saying that you all, there's some like unsaid beef between you all because he did conduct the interview with Gucci. Is that true? Any truth to that? Yes. Would you do that? <laughs> if it, it was you and Quicksilver, you guys, so, so would yes. you do that? There She's, would be a discussion first. Yes. Was there even a discussion? Um, no, but no. I knew he was doing the interview. That I just think yes. that, um, that means I hate in him. general, if you work with somebody in and general, someone's saying things like negative things, nasty, like, Things you can't even say on the radio right. and you a put really it out on your own way. Whether YouTube or not you channel. work with that person, you know, talking about a woman in that way, because I have never called anybody out of their name. Yeah. I think that's the real issue. Like, you can't mm-hmm. just sit there and laugh when something like that happens. Got you. Yeah. So, so nice. I would hope that even up here for you guys, yeah. if somebody was like, oh, mm-hmm. she's a. B, right, 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 right. She right. tried to S my, you, you know, all you of that. You would be like, yo, yeah. chill. Like, that was really don't talk, aggressive. Don't I talk about a woman like that. Even if he was talking about L'Oreal, I would hope. That even though they don't work together, mm-hmm. you would be like, yo, chill. chill. Silence was broken. Okay. I heard noises. 
And the L'Oreal Cosign. React. What is this clip, though? I want to see this clip. <laughs> this is an old clip. This is not when she was yeah. in a spicy bag. This is when she no. was trying to be nice still. We don't care about that. Well, that headline doesn't say she was trying to be nice, but okay. Headlines That's really what do. headlines do, more. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, is that part of the video? I don't know. No, Maul still falls back. <laughs> yo, yo Maul is the best. What you mean? I, I'm just trying to understand if this was some recent shit. No. I don't follow the shade room and all this other shit. <sighs> I don't know about breaking her silence, though. But man. She broke her silence. We she, were awaiting. She does a show every day, Rory. But she was silent. And people talked about how awkward it was for the first show back when it was her and Charlemagne and uh, Trevor Noah. But uh, I don't know, man. I'm glued to all of that shit. Sorry, buddy. <laughs> Are you <laughs> One hundred percent. Why? Because I'm looking for the. I'm looking for. Are you watching the video? I'm, lo- I'm looking for the beef where they're not trying to give us the beef, and I think I'm bumping into it. I watched the uh, Amanda Seals interview at the Breakfast Club. You saw it? I uh, mm. yes, I, I watched the whole thing. I caught some beef in there. Mm. Do, t- do tell. Let me give it to you. Okay. She we of us have been in those situations so many times there. where we're helpless. Well, we can't. Angela we don't have any present here. any way to fight, and so you end up just feeling like worthless and humiliated. You see people around you watching you in this situation. People who you Wait would have helped in a second do nothing, and you feel like, what is this? Like this is what I've this is what I've worked and grinded like my whole sh- shit to get, to, to get to be in these spaces and these safe spaces and enjoy and celebrate. Mm-hmm. And then so to be shit on like that Come on, is a very multi-layered Here. experience. It's and a black thing. You're supposed to feel safe around your people. If you don't feel period. safe around Come your people, on, where do you feel Just safe? give me envy. And that's why, you know, Here and that's go. why I asked you, you know, you took it as a joke of insecure is because if I'm outside and I see somebody that I fuck with or I work with outside and they're having a problem, well, we that all was have a, a problem. And, that, so and that's why I asked thing. that. They, so this is another thing. Like, people make comp stars saw me and decided not to help you hear the rest of, I never said make sure that. You understand they said it was a whole, I had a whole nev- table. They did have a table, but that no, doesn't mean care. they saw me yeah, in the yeah, club. Yeah, yeah. The table could be saying. back around the corner that and behind the DJ. That's why I asked. You know, I, I couldn't because see you outside you or Charlemagne or you Never. You wouldn't. You literally done that. Amanda, everybody's trying to get a shit off. Nobody's partying until my people get in. That's But that's me. So I never said that. But that's me. Yeah. That's the spice. But that's envy. But that's STD, me. what's up? I'm off. But what was... What <laughs> was am, am, I, am, I, am I off here? Yeah. No, I definitely understand what you're saying. But what was Amanda talking about? The uh, party the inse- Insecure Amanda party. Amanda is talking about the insecure party that she tried to get in, that she was not invited to, that she was thrown out of. Oh, okay. Because she wasn't invited to it. Okay. It's a good interview, though. Oh. It's gonna be all. It's gonna always be a good interview if you don't challenge the person you're interviewing. <laughs> <laughs> Did she ever address that uh, situation with the doctor? When she said, when they said she was lying on the doctor about him sexually. Was it? He's supposed to be sexually. Uh, she accused him of sexually something. Anyway. Oh, uh, I think they talked about it without talking about it, and she's saying she was just bringing light to what everyone already knew. Or something along those bringing- lines. I, I don't know. For those of you who have no idea what these niggas are talking me. about, me. Amanda Seals Thanks, accused accused a young man of sexually assaulting a young a young woman in college or in school. It was a long time ago, and then it was later found that he did not do that. So the public was looking for Amanda Seals to come back and say, uh, "No, this young man was not a, uh, was not guilty of this. He did not do that because apparently she char- uh, she trashed his name." That's ah. what they are talking okay. about. No, uh, she has not returned to my knowledge to address that. Okay. No, just asking. Uh, and here we go, man. I will continue to be on the lookout for Breakfast Club <laughs> Spice because I have nothing else better to do with my time. And that's that. But breakfast Spice. It's interesting. It's inter- Breakfast Spice. Yeah. The breakfast Spice. <sighs> Can I have a vulnerable moment with you guys? Break it oh, down. Shit. Finally. Here we go. Finally, we're taking this thing to the next level. I uh, I have to go to Atlanta this weekend, and I can't tell a lie. I'm a little bit nervous. Damn. You got beef out there? There is a bully on the loose, <gasps> and his name is Russ. <laughs> yeah, we get corny and corny. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'll be honest with you, man. We are really corny. Russ the God <laughs> attacked one of the, uh, one of the people that... I just include in in the under twenty one year old hip hop 
That's the hip hop that occurs. It's a whole world happening out there. Which one was he? He was in the red. This is Guap Dad no, four thousand. Yeah, but the, they be for the kids, but they're really like thirty. That's the funniest shit. I'm listen, bro. Where's Russ at? They're at a festival. No, but which one is? I don't even see him. Okay, Russ is right there. Russ is right there, the and he's about to hit him. He hit him, uh, and then well, a bunch of other of. people hit him, and then so a bunch of people were getting hit. Bottom line, I know our audience probably has no idea what's happening here. Russ was at a festival or a concert or away from home somewhere, ran into Guap Dad 4000, who apparently put Russ's name in a song. And Russ don't play that shit when you put his name in a song. So when he's saying it, he said, yo, why you didn't put my name in that song? And then Guap Dad 4000 had answered him, and Russ didn't like the answer. So he smacked the shit out of him. Then all of <laughs> Russ's people continued to pound on Guap Dad 4000. Guap Dad 4000 was up on the fence, running in the grass. Uh, I feel like I saw some white boys was deemed, knocked deemed out. to be helpful. You're going to always see a white boy get knocked out when uh, <laughs> Rust of God is around. <laughs> I mean, if you niggas got white boys and you click, watch out. Um, and that's, and, that, and that's, that's what happened. Rust put his hands on yet another one of these guap daddish rappers in the end. I don't know why people continue to talk about Rust of God in their songs. All I was worried about was, is Russ okay? Because that's my man now, man. Oh, right. I don't want to see him right out there. But he's the aggressor. Uh, look, squared up by the fence. Don't run in the corner. It's going to lose. Oh, yeah. boop, 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 boop. <laughs> <laughs> no, nigga ran in the corner. <laughs> oh, and that's it, man. I have no idea who Guap Dad 4000 is. I've never heard a Guap Dad 4000 song. I don't know where this beef stems from other than what Russ told me. So now with that said, react. I don't fuck with Guap Dad, but I, the only thing that I'm that's funny to me is even after all of this allegedly pounding and jumping, he put out a video clip explaining what happened. And didn't Who look like, that? yeah, it didn't look like he was in a fight at all. I mean, they oh, no, he was in a fight. Didn't, didn't look, look like, like it. they were. No, uh, no, they don't look like they were throwing the heaviest. Of yeah, punches. it didn't look like he was really getting. But this is what I'm saying. So it's him. just like, I wish we get rid of that myth. Let's stop that right now. What myth? If I get up right now and love tap Maul in his face seventy five times, I don't care that his face is clean when he walked away. <laughs> I agree. I, I agree. tapped you in your face. I agree. If, Do something if about it. you hit me in my face 75 times and my face looks the way it looks now, you need to go see some, seek some help. <laughs> As do you. No, that, I don't. That's my point. If my face looks like it does now, he look like he wasn't in a fight. Like, Sam, I don't even know if that's him. You, we he's have to get game. rid of that, 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 that loser's win. That's what a loser's mean? win. No, that's not a loser. When you right? get the your ass beat, and I, now and you don't have a mark on your face, that's not. And now you come to well, the let's internet. be clear. Sometimes the mark don't show up for a yeah, day. Yeah, don't do that, more. Getting your ass beat. It's five minutes. All right, forget the, ass beat. If a nigga put his hands on you and you run to the internet to tell me how your face is clean, you're a loser still, nigga. Yeah, sometimes that shiner don't pop up till the next day. No, a shiner pops up in. Two Fam, minutes. Guap Dad ran to the internet and gave us a play by play of why he didn't get beat up. And let me tell oh, you no, something. I thought that was let crazy. me tell you something, yeah. Jack. Yeah, that <laughs> when that happens, a nigga lost. Oh no! I, uh, listen, I'm listen. First of all, getting jumped is not a loss to me. If you get jumped, that's not like I don't look at that as yo. You you lost. You got jumped. Like who wins getting jumped? See, look what yeah. Bob Dad said. True. The last last thing? thing I'll say is this. <laughs> the, last the last thing he said. <laughs> so which means it was the first thing. When the last thing you say is the first thing you say, Maul, yeah. you lost this fight. That's true. Guap Dad said, the video was cut. Guess what, buddy? That's, that's one of the things you say when you lose. Come on, Maul, fess up to it. The edit. Yeah, the edit you think when the video point. ends, the fight just stops? Wait, time out, buddy. You lost. If you have to get the audience into the mind of what they think. Mm-hmm. Yo, you think I would let that happen? <laughs> I'm not here to think <laughs> Just here to watch what happened And we watched You're lost And when you follow that with LOL LOL I was cornered and decided to take some hits In order to get to the other side of the fence hey, hey. Where I could fight <laughs> niggas as that's they squeezed more. That's funny In Maul. order is funny Maul. Yeah. You didn't decide to take a decided few hits Decided to take some hits You didn't decide <laughs> To get to, to get the other side of the fence In order to get to the other side and of the fence That's funny That's funny Just to get to another side of the fence That's what I want you to walk me through But you're a small thinker You're looking at the big picture If I tap your face a million times And you don't have a mark because you decided not to throw any hits. Who won this fight? Who won the exchange? Me. If I don't have a mark on my face and you hit me a bunch of times, I won. Especially if I got jumped. Especially if it was four of y'all. No, but what if it was just me and you didn't hit me back? I won still. No, you didn't. 
If I don't look like, if I'm not bleeding, fucked up, oh nothing, God, I won. Man, this podcast will not survive another two years. You did not win. <laughs> I won. You didn't win, Maul. Yes, I did. I fought niggas off and ran back after to help my crew who was fighting his security still. All of this is it's this loser. Corny. Yeah, I, I, I agree with that. This is corny. Oh, God. I went to the internet after you get. I never fight. said that I won. Nigga, I got jumped, LOL. I was sitting on my trailer steps to catch some air because I had just got off of stage. He walked up and asked about the song like he wanted to talk. I said, for show. Turned around and put my phone uh, phone and drink down and got caught slipping. Stop right there. You didn't get caught slipping. You said something about somebody in a song. You were at a show with him. That person walked up to you and said, hey. You're on defense. What was you saying about that song? Yeah. <laughs> That's... That's not caught slipping. That's not caught slipping. Bruh threw his punch. Then every nigga swung on me. Nothing about this is, is I got caught slipping. So I wiggled the fuck. When you have to type, so I wiggled the fuck in your response fight video, Maul, you good, lost this fight. It's good defense. Look, when you take pride in, look, no knockout, no black eye. And I don't know if you've ever got punched by security, but it's not something you stick around and hold your ground for. <laughs> More. He didn't get knocked I mean, out. Everything this guy. Eye. Eye. That, that last one, he has a point. I'm pussy. He didn't get if security out, hits me, I'm running. A black eye, and he got jumped. Who was jumping him? The Muppet Babies. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, fam. Like you gotta have a bruise, swelling, bleeding. And I didn't leave the festival? Question mark. That's how you know a nigga lost when he's asking himself questions. <laughs> what? <laughs> Why is he asking us if he left the festival? This is why you never go to social media. I stayed, and when he came back, the police followed him, and he threw a tantrum because I was still there. So now you're telling me he beat you up, you you wiggled the fuck out of the situation, and he found you again. (laughs) That's what he's saying. Crazy thing is I actually DM'd Russ a while back and told him the line on Prada Process wasn't a diss, and he read it and kept it moving. So you're telling me that you realized you was pussy ages ago, you tried to cop a plea. The plea store was closed. That is what he's saying, right? Look, in my mind, we had no problem, and now we're here. Either way, it won't happen again. You fucking right, it won't happen again, because Rust the God beat the brakes off of you and your fucking crew. Now, I don't know Guap Daddy could be a real nigga. A nigga could shoot at me tomorrow, so let me shut up. But... No, Guap Daddy. Oh, yo, cool I, he's a cool young nigga. I mean, listen, I don't yo, know. I, I don't didn't know, know you was on yeah, Russ's dick like this. <laughs> this is nuts. I sat here for 15 minutes and let you break that whole thing down. Like Russ snuffed somebody, beat the fuck out of him, <laughs> and Ru- kept it and moving. Russ definitely didn't beat the fuck out of him. <laughs> yo, I didn't know you was on Russ like this. But it wasn't a beat. That's down. crazy. But I will say that for somebody that got jumped, he looked fine. I've seen some niggas that get jumped and they don't look too good. Yeah, it's hospital time. But either way, this shit is—I don't know. I don't—I didn't even know that these two had a a tiff or a little fizz or whatever you want to call it. <laughs> a little fizz. How do you feel about like people beating someone up over a rap lyric? It's healthy. And, uh, it depends on what it is. I think it's healthy. I've never heard this record. I don't know. What I think I think the jumping and this was kind of a jumping. I I don't know who was his friend and who wasn't in that whole little mix. Right. But I think jumping is kind of corny. Yeah, over a rap wall. These young niggas fighting at these festivals is part of the festival now. I think. Wait, is that a jump? (laughs) Wait a minute. Hold up. If I walk up, if if I walk up to you, ask you about something, don't like your answer, smack the shit out of you, and now when I smack, that's a stretch. Smack the shit out of me was a stretch in that video. He did smack him. Smack the shit out of him. I'm not here to argue about what the shit means. (laughs) He smacked him. Mm -hmm. He he smacked him. And then he had more people to intervene than the other guy. Well, that's I didn't not know, a jump. I don't know who was. I didn't, who was I didn't who. set out to jump you. I'm not trying to no, jump that's, you. That's still a jump though. Like if you, if 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 you got your crew and all your niggas jump on me, you got jumped. It happens though. It's part of the. I don't think that's a jump. Okay, that's well a let, jump. Let, me, let me let me ask yeah. you this. If my crew is this. stronger than yours, you're not jumped. Your crew is pussy. You had a crew and I had a crew. I asked you some. Yeah, but when I put hands on you and then my crew won. That's not a jump. Yeah, but no, the jump part is when he's by the gate and it's like four niggas swinging. It's not a nah, jump I if think, your crew yeah, left. Your crew, I, I agree with Joe on this one. If your crew's there and they don't do who nothing. Who was his crew in that, though? He that, had a crew well, there and they wasn't I'm, there. No, but Joe, this is what you If the crew loses, right. it's not a jump. I understand what you're saying. You're right. If I have my crew, you have your crew, you pop on me, and then my crew and runs. And your crew leaves. 
You I didn't get jumped. No, I still got jumped. No, you still got jumped, but it was it was but a it fair was like, jumping. But but my crew was foul for that because yeah, they was, it was a I, fair. I shouldn't jump. have gotten jumped because I had niggas with me. <laughs> yeah, but they ran. But I still got jumped. Yeah, for sure. It's not a jump to me. No, that's a jump for sure. If you have any other people there that but they can, ran, that that, that 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 it's not a jump. So my crew was foul when, for when that. I, when they I said it on me. when I said it on you, it was not with the intention of three on one, okay, four on right. one, five on exactly. one, six on one. You're right. You had a bunch of niggas there. I had and no idea ran. that they would disappear. And, and right. And when they ran, which then turned into me getting my ass jumped. Period. I still got jumped. It, y'all didn't come out like catch me by myself no, and you, jump me. No, you got beat up. <laughs> but no, you, you can get beat up one on one too. You got beat up. But you can't get, you jumped. get jumped. You can't get you jumped. Get jumped. I'm like, not rolling with that. Guab dad 4,000 to get jumped. I'm not rolling with that. Nigga, I don't up. even know if he got beat up. That's what I'm saying. He, he looked fine. He, 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 he looked fine. He didn't get beat up. He didn't get beat up. But I'll no. tell you, he won't do it again. <laughs> well, <laughs> he, he, he said. He said. Do it, man. The... And that's why I don't like Maul's little defense of he didn't have a scratch on his face. If he ain't going to do it again, I don't give a fuck how his face look. You learned a lesson. No, I'm just saying he didn't. If If I get jumped... I would think that you y'all would be able to tell if I walk in here right now. Like I'm niggas, not getting niggas jumped. Jump me down the block. I'm and not I look getting like this, jumped. I'm be like where? By no nigga that has a romantic, sexy song on the charts featuring Bia. <laughs> <laughs> like Russ got a whole song out talking about fucking. <laughs> like I'm yes. not losing the fight to the nigga that's rapping about fucking right now. No, you got to come back on your street single, buddy. You're not catching <laughs> me when you're being romantic, and that song is fire. Yeah, it's a good record. So now you're going to go on stage and rap because you're always with me first after you fucking beat some nigga ass? Yeah, that's the vibes. That's swag. <laughs> I like that. Leave Rust of God alone. Rust of God. <laughs> what? He is Rust of God. Why do you keep beating people up to diss him, though? Because people keep talking about Rust of God. Yeah, this is like the <laughs> second or third time, no, right? Don't talk about me if I'm going to see you in fucking on the festival this no, summer. No, I do have to respect Russ on that, though. Like, he pulling up on niggas. I mean, yeah. I respect that. Yeah, I respect it. He ain't just don't get this this singing shit fucked up. I, I appreciated this one that he was active in it. Yeah. All the other ones they were saying, yo, he was on the other side. But again, that can always be the loser definition of. I gotta start seeing what these disses were that made him do that. Cause it seems like you should just diss him back. I don't know, man. Oh, uh, what's it say, Rory? I, I can't read. I'm we're, sorry. Not, we're not reading of the uh, Russell yeah. versus Guap Dad. We're not doing that. Oh, okay. I'm just curious what the diss was. Was it like what Guap Dad said to him? Yeah. Elevator sent uh, sent weight down to move him up. You doing right, but we don't. But we don't care. We call that doing Russ. Take the end out of months because you're not eating much. I got my bread in the crunch. It's like I'm eating Dutch. Yeah, I'm smacking the shit out of you when I see you. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, much and I was home minding my business, creating my song with Bia about being romantic mm. and having my hands on a girl's ass cheeks. Then you were in the studio saying, Elevator sent weight down to move them up. You're doing right, but we don't care. That's doing Russ. No, that's a diss, though. I, that's a diss. That is a diss. That's certainly that's a definitely diss. a diss. I don't it's know a why pretty light jab, though. It's, a, it's a jab, though. But why are you talking about me and your song about <laughs> Dutch? <laughs> and much and much talking about eating Dutch How does, and crunching I, much I feel you yeah. you needed something to rhyme but don't just take my name now and put it in your eating Dutch stanza yeah that wasn't even like that wasn't even nah. like a hard bar either it wasn't let me see like, well, well hold on let's see where he took us afterward man <laughs> yeah the wave started micro we heating up uh, microwave bar yeah I, see I left my left eye wide open they creeping up uh, creeping uh, like green left eye left eye I don't know what it is Oh, I got chili. I was rapping in bars in Atlanta. Pulled up in the Uber J. Cole. He took the Wait, Phantom. Did he left t bars out the whole shit, man. That's crazy. Yeah, well, I'm talking nice. shit right now. This nigga got a little flow. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga flowing a little bit. <laughs> Going ghosts on a buster. My go yard is... Oh. Because Ghostbusters, yeah. Going ghost on a buster. My go yard is mustard. The Cartier Crow, Rich Creek. I'm eating custard. He ain't bad. Yeah. <laughs> He's putting together nah, words. Nah, he, he's not bad. Flew a bitch from Buffalo. My Cartier is Buffalo. My wing sauce is Buffalo. I'm way too hot. I, I work Buffalo. the dough like a Domino's. They spotted like they spotted them like Domino's and knocked him down like Domino's. He got his ass popped. No, you gotta win the fight if you say that. Yeah, he <laughs> He's flowing, but you gotta win. Then he put it on then he put it on his mother. <laughs> on my mama. I've been doing different on my mama. I've been trying my fucking best not to be out here tripping. K 
came from immigrants. I'm living different. Was fooling with the cards. We should have been musicians. No. Ha! No, magicians. Magicians. Because cards and he is magic. A magician. He's you a know. magician. All right, I'm never reading another uh, <laughs> Guap Dad verse, but it's not bad. <laughs> no, it's just all right. No, 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 no it's not bad. All right. But I Someone def- told me to check out. He just put an album up. Someone I can definitely see I got a shit smacked. I don't know. Huh? I can see I got a shit smacked. I don't know. I don't know. It doesn't seem like fighting words, really. Don't put but my you're not name Russ. in your stanza. Mad people put your name in their stanzas. But my name had, if my name had nothing to do with your stanza. Yeah, but. There's been, a, actually, there's been, and there's there's been about 17 I, everyday struggle Joe Budden academic bars in the past year. Joe Budden is not going to any festival. Joe Budden is not performing. Or, no, you go to a summit. Joe Budden is not at SOBs. I will never be anywhere with you niggas. That's not true. Sure it is. No. We were uh, at Fruits we're, Picnic. We're That's a festival. Yeah. I'm saying, you know what I'm saying, on the circuit. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, I might be somewhere and see these niggas, but these niggas is on the same circuit every year is what I'm saying. Yeah, <laughs> like, they're the same Guap same Dad and Russ going to have to play each other in the same division for the next <laughs> however many years. Is what yeah. I'm Joe, you're going to have to bump into when I feel like leaving my house and popping up at Rolling Loud or some shit, which is not going to be too often. Yeah, These niggas got to fight every year. They're, they're I, a division I was going to say, I got I to respect Russ and his... His, he 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 keeps that energy, no doubt. He yeah. pulling up on niggas and he asking niggas what's up. I gotta respect that. Um, speaking of keeping the energy, uh, Ti and Iggy Azalea has not ended just yet. I wish it would. <laughs> I, I'm all set. <laughs> yeah, like this. Come on. Fam. Really wish it would. Like, come on. Um, Ti did the Breakfast Club. They asked him to expound on the Iggy Azalea comments, which he did. Um. What he said was when she popped off, he felt like she felt she didn't really need black people. She started catering to a white audience only. And he felt like she did so in a very arrogant manner. Okay. I can see that. I mean. All right, this is starting to feel like. I didn't follow Like a bad breakup. Like, does T.I. and Iggy have. Well, this is what happens when you don't get closure, Maul. Mm. What do you mean? I don't know if they've ever had closure. Clearly, she was signed to him. Mm-hmm. Uh, clearly, they went separate ways without ever having a real conversation about how they went separate ways. Mm-hmm. And this is what happens at the end of that. You have people doing press, people disagreeing, and people lashing out. I didn't think T.I. was disrespectful in what he said on The Breakfast Club. Like he said, I'm speaking my truth, but sometimes your truth can offend other people, mm-hmm. and you have to be accountable for that. Uh, so when he says that she received help, even if it's true, T.I. has to be accountable for that. Uh, when he says she was no. arrogant, when he Writers. says that, yeah, oh. when he says that she was arrogant, when he says that uh, he felt like she uh, strayed away from her black audience that she may have used at one point, even if he's not intentionally being disrespectful, it does come off disrespectful, so you can see why she replied to it. Uh, Here's the thing. Where's the thing? I don't think anybody gives a fuck about any of this. It it has gone on way longer than it needed to go. Well, because Iggy Azalea is in that she's one of those people that the music may not be popping, but when she says something, all the blogs pick it up. Oh, well, that's what the she blogs, has, that's she has that power still. Well, that's and, what the blogs do. And when T.I. talks, uh, the music world does still listen. So you have the music world uh, battling with the blogger world. And it's niggas like us saying, well, we don't give a fuck about any of this, so why is this happening? T.I. is going to be great in his uh, post-rap career, by the way. that His role on the show on Netflix is great. Just, just everything, everything T.I. has been doing. I was about to say, Post- which is why I don't understand so why they're at still at bringing this shit up. He's in it, and you're saying he's going to be great at it. No, I'm saying, like, if he he's plays, because he's still making he's, music, he's, too. Yeah, but he put out a great album last year. T.I., that was a great... It was a really great album that didn't really get talked about that much. Because T.I. is in his post-music career. Yeah, I guess he's... I, I think T.I. is, even as great as that album was, his focus is not music. Okay. I think his focus is on great, great shit. T.I. is in, it, it, T.I. is in his post-music career. Even if I, if I put an album out tomorrow, I'm still in my post-music career. Yeah. Okay. Like, my focus is not music at all. Uh, and T.I. is doing a really good job. So, shout out to him. Is. But I'm over this. I don't want to hear. Yeah, I didn't. I, with all the shit that he'd been going on, I didn't think he needed to bring this back up again. To be honest That's with you, no, I thought he needed to. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Why? Wow. Right. How yes, so? I thought he got his point across the first time. Fine. No, no he didn't. Uh, and clearly, he didn't feel like that either. Uh, the first time, 
it was perceived as him saying, yeah, Iggy Azalea was the biggest blunder of my executive career. The yeah. end. He yeah. never said another word about it. No. So you could the, see. The so blogs you, only posted that as the headline. That's all. And that wasn't the biggest no, blunder of his music career. Cool, but he that's fine. But he said that, and he stopped, and then she responded. So he didn't Actually, really get all the shit that he had to say on that particular topic off. He said something in passing, and then it became a big thing. So this was his time to explain it. I'm not mad at him for explaining it, but I don't want it. I don't want to hear it explained again. <laughs> yeah, I'm, that's I'm, my point. Yeah, I'm cool. I'm cool. I don't, I don't need any more of this. But like you said, there's probably some uh, residual things that left got left unsaid because they're both still talking about it. So. Yeah, yeah, no, 100%. Yeah. 100%. Well, um, all right, what else is happening? RZA, uh, is, uh, RZA's having uh, Camp Tazo if you want to, if you're not doing nothing, <laughs> uh, in February. You guys want to go uh, chill the, with RZA and drink tea? The RZA, tea? from what you're saying, for the, the rule of zigzag zig yeah. for the new listeners, RZA of the legendary Wu-Tang Clan... Has a camp. <laughs> the RZA camp. Yeah. Camp Tazo. Tell me more Bobby about... Bobby Digital. Tell me more about Camp Tazo more. Uh, well, he says it's about to go down. RZA and Tazo T. This February, I will be your guide at Camp Tazo. Well, we don't want to hear you read this nigga's caption. That's, <laughs> not, that's not why this is funny. Yeah. Well, they can't hear that. You want to play the, the clip? The video? Or the commercial? <laughs> of course. I'm only, okay. I'm, I've only been here for two hours to play this clip. Okay. <laughs> this is what you were waiting on? Yes. This is the grand finale? Y'all niggas want to talk about every Woot, uh, fucking Eminem, Joyner, fucking Kanye, Angela, Nori. This yeah. is why I'm here. <laughs> Tazzo. The Tazzo. This is the best now, in the world. You must explore your mind. I will be your guide. Right. As we set out to conquer all obstacles that stand in your path. Mm -hmm. right. Right. Harnessing chaos, disarming doubt, foraging for inspiration. <laughs> Join me for a series of guided explorations that will unlock the hidden powers that Look exist that. within you. The yeah. journey begins this February at Camp Tasso. <laughs> I don't know about y'all. I'm buying tickets. But I'm I'll be there. Now, can somebody tell me what just happened at Camp Tazo? Well, RZA's it didn't happen yet. It's in, happening in February. What yeah, am I going tickets. to camp with RZA for? To get if tea. You wanna, if you want to harness your chaos. Now, I harnessed that already. But they have yeah. tea. It's sponsored by I, tea. Anywhere where there's tea and RZA is speaking, I might want to be there. Yeah, yeah, man. Get a nice chamomile and, you know what I mean, do the knowledge. Yeah. Maybe learn... Learn how to fuck over some contracts. Oh, it won't be none of this at Camp Tazo. <laughs> it, it won't be none of this. It's a whole different energy. This is this is how I want to know Rizzo. Uh, right there. Yeah, yeah this growth. It's you know. Well, no, but he was that. also giving you the uh, twelve jewels around that time. You why know what I'm saying? Why is Rizzo giving us uh, every uh, everybody is kung fu fighting camping? <laughs> Well, they, Wood that, that's, that's what Wu Tang is built upon. Because Tazo T to got be the bread. Like karate, karate niggas. Like that's what do you that's mean? That's a vibe. Wu Tang is, is is exactly that. Karate. Mo, don't try to get me beat up by Wu Tang again. I'm no, talking, I'm, I'm <laughs> only, I'm that's, that's no, always no, been that, their inspiration. Nah, nah, that is what you're trying to. Do. No, that. that's always been that. It, but we talked I, about the the affinity that insp that hip hop has with the martial arts, though. Like that's always been the thing. Like I don't know, I don't even know how that came about, honestly. But that's always been the thing. And this is this is on brand for RZA. This isn't RZA put out a book called The Tao of Wu Tang. That's what I'm saying. This I is on. It. This is on brand for RZA. This isn't like outside. I've already of, been to the Tao camp. RZA, 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 RZA better karate. give me my money it's, that he owes. <laughs> 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 Let me tell you that enough of this, buddy. If RZA got a whole camp going on, Wait, that why, why RZA he's you teaching money? people how to redirect their anger. Yeah. <laughs> If RZA know how to redirect his anger, then God damn it, I got to get paid my money that you've owed me since like 04. <laughs> what money does he owe you? You did a feature? Yeah, man. RZA. You, wait, you did a record with Bobby Digital and you ain't, you ain't put us on? You were on that Wu-Tang album that, that they didn't agree on? <laughs> In 2003, this girl I wanted to bone called me up. In 2003, I it let you get bone on. Bone. <laughs> it always starts with You could only want it to bone it really in 20... <laughs> Yeah, she might have been Cardi before Cardi. She might have set set the woman wave. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she called me. She was like, "Yo, in the studio right now with RZA, 
He making the beat. I got some fire playing. All I need is the verse. Rizzo on the bone too. And then I was like, <laughs> and, I was, and I was like, nah, <laughs> you know, verse, bitch. <laughs> I ain't hung out with you at all. Yeah. You think you get a 16? <laughs> then she passed the phone to Bobby Digital. Mm. He said, yeah. you, got, you got the impression? <laughs> <laughs> is that how he started the phone call? Yo, on Wednesdays, however the podcast ends is how it should start. Man, whatever. <laughs> she passed the phone to Bobby Digital. <laughs> If you're passing the phone part. That's the noise that he makes. <laughs> when, he's yeah. speed, when he's Bobby yeah. Digital, he makes that noise. <laughs> Yo, if I'm already on the phone. He's just being passed. <laughs> no, yeah. but that's the yeah. noise. That, yeah. part. That's his you ad lib. All of y'all will get beat up by Wu-Tang. He don't know the point. knowledge, man. I'm just saying. No, I, mean, I love I, Wu-Tang. Listen, they hit me already. <laughs> y- y'all niggas gonna get me, y'all niggas gonna get y'all a hit. Y'all keep I'm playing. paying homage to the RZA ad lib. And, yes. and you did give the I lost spiel that Go up, daddy, or whatever that guy's name is, gave. <laughs> no, I didn't. And it was at a festival. I didn't do that. No, I did not. <laughs> you did. I did not. No, I didn't. You went on. You went on your. Uh, I went on, on my YouTube page and said, "I want to fight you." No, that's not what you said. Anyway, what else did I say? You said uh, you was jumped. I didn't get jumped. I'm, I'm, <laughs> we jumped. Did I, say, I, didn't, I didn't. I didn't. I tried to be on the other side of the fence, so I took some blows yeah, on purpose. You took some then blows you, you like blamed. You, I think you blamed it on Mickey Facts. I was sitting there like, "Hey, what did Mickey do?" Yeah. My shit was worse than a jump, too. By the way, why? If one dude. <laughs> because if one dude hits you while dudes are present, like they don't jump you, but they're present, and you just got freaking Mickey Fact with you. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's rough. <laughs> oh man, you gonna go back to back like, like fucking Street Fighter, dun- uh, dun- <laughs> Double Dragon? <laughs> yeah, y'all was supposed to get in y'all martial arts, but like, you ain't do the knowledge. See, yo, imagine like the- lock imagine arms and do yeah. spinning Mickey kicks. Mickey Fax and Joe just getting in their karate. <laughs> yeah. Y'all ain't getting y'all karate. Yeah, you're supposed to lock arms and spin it back. Oh, yeah. So you just throw the legs out. You're yeah. Supposed to hit him with your rush hour. <laughs> <We're> t- <laughs> <laughs> hit him with your rush hour. <laughs> Cause that is. <laughs> what? what? I would have been there with you. Hit him with your rush hour, bro. Yeah, you know why that's funny. And this shouldn't be. Which one is Jackie Chan? This me, nigga. <laughs> Over the weekend, I seen Mickey Fax tweet. He was doing features for niggas, right? He was like, "Yo, I'm tired of doing features for you niggas that ain't paying." And I was like, I see how them niggas. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, Mick? It don't make sense now. Now that you say that. <laughs> Yo, send the verse. I'll send, I'll send it over. I, I, can, I can see how them niggas got that off on me, man. Oh, they, man. They, they knew what was going on back That's then. So All right, listen. Uh, so this is the Rizzo's fire, Fiery Festival. Camp Tazzo? <laughs> nah, man. This is his wake up now? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that shit was funny. Them niggas, the Wu Tang niggas, had fucked me up. <laughs> but then we continued the tour, and we kept seeing RZA alone, <laughs> and nothing happened. Yeah, just relax. <laughs> what? I, I, I know where you going. Relax. What you mean? Nothing happened. Boy, nothing gonna happen to Bobby Digital. You crazy, nigga? Word. <laughs> niggas is sick. Bobby gonna walk everywhere by himself. <laughs> Untouchable, nigga. Nah, I thought it was on. Crook one go over there. So I love you, niggas. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, wait, Crook. In the middle. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> they, they hit me. <laughs> <laughs> they protect they your neck, started playing yeah, in the yeah, background yeah, of his yeah, head. Yeah, you know, yeah, it's like, oh, yeah, nah. Yeah, Crook, yeah. they hit me. I don't know if you know. Yo, yeah, no, that's why Slow Downs is funny. Every verse after I got hit from Wu Tang. Every Joel verse was about a loving Wu Tang. <laughs> <laughs> he rapped on every yeah, 36 yeah. Chambers beat there yeah. was. Yeah. yeah, I think every Ray and Ghost album after that had Ghost and, and Crook and Joel on it. Like, it was some wild shit going on back then. But it's cool. It's cool. Don't even worry about it, man. That's fucking hilarious. It's cool. Camp Tasso. <laughs> Camp Tasso. I'm, glad, I'm glad you niggas could laugh at my pain. Yeah. Kip Y'all don't know what that feel like when you see the nigga, you see a nigga from the crew that got their shit off on you, and you with your crew, cause then you like, yeah, oh, we about to catch you now, nigga. Yeah. But your crew love him, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, yo, you changed my life. <laughs> yeah, like you, the reason I rap. Yeah. 
Yeah, these <laughs> niggas are great, man. Yeah, you can't do nothing. That's Wu Tang, right. man. What? I, I don't know what's happening right now. <laughs> uh, all right, cool. So, what else is going on in the world of uh, hip hop? I hate hip hop. <laughs> <laughs> y'all will not turn this into an R and B podcast for me. <laughs> Every week, we try y'all to. make well, me come in. Tank dropped a new album, so hey! there you go. I know that, that one hits close to home for you. <laughs> Yo, what? What? <laughs> Yo, Tusher, shut the fuck up. <laughs> Poor Tank, man. <laughs> Yo, listen, verify right. it, verify it. No it, more. I, I just wanted to go. There we go. All right, we back. <laughs> Poor Tank. Wait, the funny, the funniest shit about Tank's album is not even Tank. Why didn't we start the pod like this? So y'all didn't hear Tank's album, right? No, nah. no. You heard it? Which is horrible that your rollout <laughs> was dick sucking and no one knew you had an album out. Oh, you didn't think it was horrible when Joyner did it, though. <laughs> <laughs> you loved him. It's, no. <laughs> See, no. So you have a problem no. with Tank. See, and then, no, that's what problem with all you niggas. Yo, we picked the ones we like. Speaking of yo, shit like that, y'all yo. ready to kill me. That's way more toxic what? than shit I be saying. No, Rory, right? No, you, nigga. What you Help mean? Me. Right? What you mean, I Rory? want Joyner and him to do their thing. <laughs> <laughs> See, you know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah. Somebody did. Somebody did this. <laughs> I want them to get into their <laughs> tug they fizzle. Shits? Yeah, man. They, they tug fizzle. Tug fizzle. Not trying to do nothing. What if man. I told you I'm gay too? Uh, All right, nigga, you gay with me then? What <laughs> <laughs> the fuck are these niggas talking Swag. about? Now we why? Really why friends. is that dramatic? Come on, hit the streets. So now we can really. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we are. Come on. <laughs> Yeah, what is, they're trying, what if I told you I'm gay too? All right, Christopher, it is. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. All right, what was I trying to talk about before y'all did this shit? Tank album. Oh, shit, wait a minute. So the funniest thing about Tank's album is not Tank. What is the funniest Continue. shit about Tank's album? <laughs> he really uses vocal cords. <laughs> it's Ghost. I was just going to say, why am I seeing Amari Harwood's it's name ghost. in three different... Well, I'm sorry? I thought you meant like Ghostface. Does he, does he yeah. do the skits? It's it's Amari Hardwick, but it's Amari Hardwick is Ghost. As Ghost? No, it's not. Is he like narrating the album? Damn, no, it's not. No, it's not. <laughs> don't tell me he's me. narrating the album. I know you're lying to me. That's Please don't real. tell me he's narrating the album. He's doing his little spoken word <laughs> thing, man. You know, Ghost, you know, well, not Ghost, Amari does his spoken That's word ghost. rap. Yeah. You know, he's doing that on Tank's album, which is fine. I support you inviting your spoken word friends over to speak words over your album. <laughs> but not when the guy has a super powerful drug dealer show on television <laughs> and the show is not going well. I can't hear Ghost fucking poem me into Tank's records. And try to run truth. <laughs> Just too much on his plate. <laughs> <laughs> yo, one, one is going to have to sacrifice. Yo, fam, we all watching Power together and we all killing it together like a family because we've all been so invested in Power. We all loved it together we put, as a family. We put too many years into Power for us to abandon it now. And I'm down with you niggas. I stand with Power until I put on tanks. <laughs> Nah, y'all not understanding me, man. Is the writing better? Yeah. No, no, y'all not getting it. Y'all not getting it. Is the writing better? Just That's the key. No, we need I, to I get right here to now. now I have to listen to Tank's album. Use the mic like a walkie talk. <laughs> <laughs> see, 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 see. <laughs> See what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? You see when niggas try to like take the culture and go somewhere with it? I used Yo, to look what happened when Tariq started wilding, man. What the fuck is that? What are you hating? I used the mic like a walker. It's track one. And, we'll that's, and that's how I talk to Angela. Oh, wait. Ooh. <laughs> Rory didn't do the, the science. I used the mic like a walkie talkie. It all started in Milwaukee. That's not what he said. Y'all not listening to the God. Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on. Yo, Star Wars. Wars Jabba Walkie. Yo, Joe. <laughs> we we might need you back, bro. I don't care how much emphasis y'all put on that bum ass bar, my nigga. That shit terrible. Call that nigga Rocky. That was a shot at Maul, too. Hey. 
Rocky was in Eye of the Tiger. Mm. Rocky was in Eye of the Tiger. Yo, this nigga went through RZA camp, man. <laughs> he did. <laughs> Yo, why, he, why goes to the RZA? This is the first student of the Tazo camp. <laughs> yeah, this is crazy this right now. Come on. He's drinking the tea? Come yeah, on, let me get that 100%. fire started, man. Call me the mothership. Mother I'm not calling you the mothership. <laughs> I'm, I'm not calling you the mothership ghost. You're ghost. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait. All right. Wait, oh. wait, 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 wait. Wait a minute, nasty man. <laughs> what, what is he talking about? They fucking, say motherfucker a lot in power, so this is just carrying over. So my fucking mom. He went from a yeah. Jabberwocky to a motherfucker? <laughs> wait, 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 come on. Wait, wait, slow down, Amari. Orange was never my color. That's what they make you wear in jail. The jail show, Orange is the New Black. Come on, man. Orange come is on, the man. New Black. Nah, it's, come on. But he says he's a rubber... Nah. nah, he says he's a rubber band with no nah. elasticity. Nah. You can't keep saying it. Nah, like, I'm not letting you, you know do what? that. Cause you're not, not going to nah, keep saying nah. it. Nah, nah, nah. We're not, even we not doing it. that. We're not doing what? that. You're not, we're not, you're not giving no, it we're up. we're not doing that. We're not All doing right, that. whatever, man. Here you're not going to just keep screaming, nah. Because he's right, now nah, he stuttered right, though. Right. <laughs> all right, all right. I know. Like when when Pun know, said he was gonna know, sh- shit know, on you, I know. Yeah, 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 just bring it yeah, back. Yeah, I got yeah, it. Yeah. I got it. Restore the feeling. <laughs> new Rory and Maul. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> nah, this is my yeah. problem with, with Maul on this. Like he just letting ghosts back in the streets. Like he's trying to leave that life, and you just keep trying to mm. pull him back. I just Maul. don't want him like to do this. Like he can't, this. he can't reform. And no, I just don't want him to do this though. You can do something else. This is not it. And why does Tank have this on? This is the Tank album. No, this is no. This is not the Tank album. Oh, this, this is, is okay. the beginning of Tank album. <laughs> <laughs> this is track one. This is is the, he on more than one track in this album? Yes. I, <laughs> no, I got more fire. You oh, you looking for some more ghosts? <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. Wait. Some more fire for your head top? Wait, I got some more fire. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. <laughs> I think that, that's what Eminem and Joyner was saying. <laughs> Call my brother the Dutta. <laughs> Why is yo? What is Tank? Oh, yo, you my Dutta. Fuck with Tank, man. man. You, you my Dutta. No, I'm not your Dutta. <laughs> you are. I'm not your. They just said I called my brother my Dutta. I don't care what you call your brother. I'm not your Dutta, nigga. This is bad. Maybe Rory's my dada. Can white people say that one? What, dada? No, that's like nigga. Okay. <laughs> just, just wanted to make sure. Just wanted to ask. It's nothing like that. <laughs> Whoa. 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 Did you talk about Jazzo? <laughs> talking about Maul. I'm going home. <laughs> Y'all are being nasty. Parks ain't my dada. <laughs> <laughs> He said, until I'm as big as the nigga that Jigga came under. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. I don't think that's what he said. I might have heard it wrong. I, no, I think that's what he said. That might have been I think that's up. exactly what he said. Let me see. So that's Jezo. No, he's talking about big. Oh. big. Wait, you talking about niggas that's big? He's still going. (laughs) Keep going, free. (laughs) Oh, come on, man. Come on, man. Don't. This is the fire. This is the fire. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah, you know what I mean? How long is this? No, you have to. <laughs> I can't really know, but <laughs> no, 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 no,
Like I got to hear how they not mean. a record that, <laughs> that's the part that you're missing. There's not a record that comes. It's just ghost. We're only halfway through. Ooh, Ooh the old, inside oh, arrows. I didn't think my old wings could <laughs> find the wind. Arrows. He felt the inside Come arrows, on, man. man. Y'all niggas is hating. But if Tommy never, shows up, I'm never watching Power again. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, did you see Mo Better Blues? What Come the on, fuck man. Hold up, man. Hold up, hold up, hold up, man. Yo, if y'all wasn't outside for Mo Better Blues, then you won't even understand this, man. I don't know what he's talking about. I can't tell you what none of this means. You don't know what a rubber band without its elasticity means? <laughs> see? y'all? No, now y'all would have laughed, right? <laughs> This is all the shit. This is a bunch no, of. I'm not listening. What is he talking? I'm not listening. Roach's crib be bad. Mo never been to Roach's crib. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, you been to Roach's crib that was high up. <laughs> what is ten? Roach is going the counter. Mm. No, I'm dumb, man. I'm dumb, man. Y'all don't understand. Tom <laughs> Hanks was in big. And PlayStation and Tom- Toy Story. Oh, man. And something else that he said. Is there still more? Fam. Oh, yeah, no, it's not I even just, halfway no, through. <laughs> no, I'm good. I'm, I'm all set. Is this your sleeper? <laughs> Yo, how much does Tank projected to do his first week? <laughs> You want to make some guesses? A thousand. <laughs> a thousand. A thousand. I think he has a platinum single off that album. I'm sure. <laughs> what we don't that? need part two. <laughs> Wait, but <laughs> I, see, I see you. I see you moving over there. Because there's music behind this one. No, I don't want. No, nah, let's hear one beat. Let's hear one beat. Come on. I need man. at least like four How bars. You do that to Ghost. Yeah, it's Ghost. It's Ghost. That's not yeah. Ghost. Nah, that nigga runs Truth, man. Don't do that, man. You done bought b- bottles right in truth, Mo. <laughs> How is he going to get into this one? <laughs> why we couldn't just do this? I don't know why we didn't start the podcast like this. <laughs> now, the fucked up part is this is a beautiful song. This record is I just said, this, why, this, we this couldn't, why we just great. couldn't get this on the album? Well, he gave it to us, but after the two tank verses... Had to let Ghost get a little bit of truth in there. I got y'all right now. Hold up. Hey. It's Ghost right here. Oh, I couldn't tell. We never gave Tasha none of these bars. Mm, this make you want to order, flip a quarter for one. Mm. You don't get it yet. <laughs> See, <laughs> like flip the quarter. And Yo, you don't get it yet. <laughs> See, Maul was thinking flip the quarter like how he flips the quarter. But he was talking about flipping the quarter like lost, flipping the together. quarter. And then you get both sides of the coin, heads and to come on, man. Yeah. Come on, Mari. I'm playing this again, man. What the fuck is he talking about? <laughs> All right. I don't I'm know. Not, I'm not playing anymore. I'm not playing anymore, Ghost. I played this as a segue for us to talk about Power, the greatest show in the world. And I'm It's here. really up there. <laughs> yeah, it's up there. And what I, show has brought you this entertainment? None. 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 It's in a class by itself. Um, At all. No writing has made me <laughs> ponder this much. Bro. This is the greatest show in the, in, in the history of television. It really is. The other day I went to the uh, page on IMDb just to see, you know, what was going on. 
probably want to look up a cast character or something, you know, Check maybe who did the music, you know, the you know, whatever. Yeah. That shit had like nine stars on every episode of the season. And I was like, oh, they might be bugging. But out now ten, I understand. Out of 10 stars. Out of 10, yeah. So you're suggesting that it should be 10 out of 10, not nine out of 10. Yeah. Well, okay. no, at first I was like, maybe it's a little high, but now like no. it's starting to grow on me. No, not at all. Nah. So what happened was this, y'all. This is what <laughs> happened. I watched, I watched Power. All of us watched Power. Um, boy, was that a great ep- what a gr- this, if, this, if you didn't think they could top this this episode <laughs> here was the greatest episode. <laughs> this might be above the wire right here, honestly. Yeah, yeah. Like they really pushed the limits on this one. Mm. Yeah, uh, you, o- Omar's you, death in the corner store. <laughs> who gives a fuck? Tommy's crew got this is like, arrested with him watching from the distance. This is almost biblical. <laughs> this is almost biblical. <laughs> you know, right, you didn't see the episode. Let's start with whatever. Yeah, no, Barks, Barksdale could never. <laughs> let's start with whatever Rory is saying, man. Tommy's crew got arrested. Right. I'm not Yo, mad. hold your heads, I'm, guys. There's nothing wrong with that. Yeah. Tommy was there watching. Behind the barrels. The they didn't see him over there. The crew, he was the, hidden really the, well the, b- the, through the fence you could see. The crew that was being arrested saw Tommy there. Had a conversation. And, and thought to themselves, wait a minute, y'all. What is Tommy doing here? I think he set us up for the fall. Right after they said that, they panned to Tommy. And Tommy said, fuck. He was hitting no motherfuckers. Fucking. <laughs> <laughs> that was a great impersonation. Uh, he, he said, that fucking motherfucker ghost. ghost. And that's when the audience was supposed to say, oh, shit. The crew don't even know that wasn't Tommy setting them up. Mm. All right, fine. That doesn't move more. I got one better for you. Fam, if ghost, all of us can ghost, see him, ghost, I would think we were being set up. <laughs> ghost steps to Tommy in the crib about a, I mean, not Tommy. Ghost steps to Tasha in the crib about a disagreement. Mm-hmm. Beats her ass. Mm-hmm. She's holding him down, so she doesn't want to tell anybody about him beating her ass. Mm-hmm. They also just raided her babysitter drug dealer shop. Mm-hmm. And she said, you know what? All black from this point out. <laughs> from this point out, all black. Mm-hmm. So they raided her. She put on all black to be incognito and move covertly. Mm -hmm. But when she was wearing all black, and this has probably (laughs) happened to everybody, in every scene, her sleeves were rolled up. (laughs) So so, so in all the scenes, somebody just kept saying, hey, what happened to your arm, Tasha? (laughs) Got you. She pulled it down when they caught when they call her. All five times. <laughs> oh, oh, all shit. five times. He pulled it down. So listen now. That probably didn't do anything for you then. Right? right. Just, I got, I got more. Okay. Oh, I, got, I, have, I have plenty. You got something? Oh. I hit him all with one. Maul, you have been watching, and Tasha has been screaming for about seven episodes, Ghost, where is Terry? Mm-hmm. Hmm. The police then come into and spot the bruise on her arm and say, Ghost is doing that to you and you still holding him down? And she goes, well, actually, he killed Terry <laughs> Terry, and he is in this exact location, in this exact trunk, in this exact parking spot at LaGuardia. <laughs> you know what? He was there. He was there, believe it or not. <laughs> right in the trunk. In the exact parking spot. Andy Stump. You've been there for a while. Did we ever see Ghost kill kill this person? <laughs> no, I think uh, I think Tasha we, killed. We Terry. never saw that, right? Yeah, I don't think so. I don't remember we saw no. Ghost because that's the part that's confusing. In a too. Lot, we saw him, saw, him saw him hiding in a parking lot, and he saw you and we saw Terry. Tasha harassing him for ninety episodes about where Terry is at. But now Tasha knows where Terry is at. Cool with me, right? <laughs> I mean, hey, however y'all got there. Hey, that's cool with me. So then the cops go to the car at LaGuardia, right? And homeboy, what's the cop dude, the tall that's, dude, the that's white not, dude's name? It's not a cop, so all of this, this becomes illegal. This guy, oh, is, right. not only is he not a cop, but he has placed your entire uh, operation in jeopardy. Uh, your head of staff knows that. You know that. He has been rogue this entire time. Yet... 
<laughs> he somehow manages to sneak the evidence <laughs> in his pocket without you without you seeing a thing. Mm-hmm. Uh, ADA, whatever her name is, because she's funny. They put her in the they put her in all the bad acting scenes. Yeah, they try to. Cover, Anytime they, try they to, just need to quickly get a story off, they just insert her to act horribly, and we supposed to know what's going on. Yeah, she they hurt you, everybody else. She yeah. hit you with all the Law and Order questions. They they sneak her bad acting with her New York accent. It doesn't work. She hits you with all the so where were you last night? But we know questions. Yeah, this is literally the worst FBI agents ever in movie history. <laughs> My problem with this show. <laughs> And I love this show. This is the greatest, the greatest show. show. This is the greatest show on earth. And I'm going to be really sad when it ends. My problem with this show is I fell in love with it because of the the, the savviness of the criminals. Uh, what kept me coming back was how educated they were and, and just how they, how they moved. Somehow in the deterioration of the show, that's the same thing that the same thing that turned me on is what's turning me off. Everyone has become an idiot. No one can detect anything, and everyone's a rat. This whole past episode, everyone just got in a corner with somebody else and ratted. Yeah. So that's cool. Listen, hey, I'm cool with the make believe, which is why when y'all tell me that cousin Benny is the toughest nigga in the world <laughs> for the past three seasons, I'm rolling. I think cousin Benny is he tough. He looks tough. Yeah. He de- he deaded the whole beef with the cartel yeah. and the, the connect. And go the- yeah, Ghost seemed a little afraid of cousin Benny. I he mean, was tough on the wire. Too. If Ghost yeah. is scared of well, him, then goddamn it, I'm scared of him a little he, bit too. He was the tough guy in Entourage. Cousin, yeah, cousin and he was a cousin. Cousin yeah. Benny. They shot your cousin nine million and nine thousand hundred and seventy five times. Mm-hmm. Fully automatic weapon <clears throat> in a penthouse in someone's home. <laughs> yeah, this wasn't like in the street. This was in a house. You say, "Hey, either homeboy's gonna cough up some answers, or he's gonna cough up blood." <laughs> And then I'm like, ooh, that's awfully smart of Ghost to get this really tough guy yeah, yeah. who's angry at Tommy to go and kill Tommy. Mm. So then Cousin Benny sees Tommy. How he found Tommy right at his apartment. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I don't and know. Tommy yeah. turn around. Oh, hey, Ben. No, he didn't. No, Tommy <laughs> did not turn around and say, hey, Ben. Tommy was minding his business, taking his key out to go in the crib. And Cousin Benny said, hey, Turn around. <laughs> I got beef with you. <laughs> and then Tommy turned around and Cousin Busy, Benny pulled out a knife. Kitchen knife. And then the power uh, uh, camera That's like a little people, fishing knife or something. The power camera people zoomed in on the knife, mm. thinking that would get me to think that something's gonna, bad's going to happen to Tommy now. Great. Cool. Uh, I'm like, this big ass nigga stronger than Tommy. He's definitely going to kill him. Somehow, Cousin Benny lost the knife arm wrestle. (laughs) (laughs) Off rip, too. (laughs) Yeah, The fight lasted about four seconds. He lost the knife arm wrestle, and then Tommy killed him in front of all of us to see. Mm -hmm. Spoiler alert. Fan. (laughs) Spoiler alert. This whole fucking show is spoiled. (laughs) So listen, once I saw that, I got to be honest with y'all. Once I saw that, I gave up on wanting to see like uh, riveting writing, and then I thought to myself, "Well, the <laughs> That's best, what did. well, the best way to enjoy this show now is if I know this is how they on it, I need to see just the wildest possible <laughs> scenarios we've been seeing play out. <laughs> nah, but I need it wilder now." Yeah, I need a wilder now. If this is what y'all are doing. Oh. Then I'm rolling. Give it to me. And sure no. enough, as soon as I said I needed wilder, Ghost buys a building to kill somebody in. <laughs> That's what I was hoping he was getting to. By the Go, way, he bought a building to kill this nigga. Yeah. Hire this dude at the front. The mafia nigga that's never been anywhere without a gun or people decided to come here without a gun or He checked or it people. out. He checked it out. Seemed okay. He wanted to kill Ghost with his watch string. Yeah. <laughs> right? In the elevator. Ghost went to tie his shoe. <laughs> after the Tommy text. We have not seen Ghost shoe untied in 20 <laughs> seasons. But all right, the shoe was untied in the elevator. What do you know? The gun that Tommy said was there is not there. Ghost is the man. 
He kills shoestring murder weapon. With his own shoestring. And that's all of that is cool. I'm rolling here. Mm -hmm. (laughs) You're totally missing the yo. I'm into this. is going to kill you text. No, no. (laughs) I'm I'm into all this. I'm not mad at all this. Because right now, the writing is so wild. I need you to make shit wilder. Mm -hmm. So what did I need? You fucking guessed it. I needed the person that Ghost was blaming this murder on. Rotimi. What's his name? Dre. 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 I needed him to come in there. On the roof, <laughs> see the body, and jump off the roof. <laughs> after after the unsuspecting security guard with a flashlight. Yeah, was just hey, on man. a higher yeah, roof. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He no, was on the extra roof who didn't somehow. See the body. One of you niggas got to come tell me <laughs> how Dre got off of that roof. <laughs> Honestly. No, seriously. I would I'm waiting for it. Yeah. He walked up, saw the body, and jumped off of the roof. <laughs> Had to have, because we're you couldn't go back down the elevator. The cops are down there. I'm sick of fucking Tariq. <laughs> Boy, am I sick of fucking Tariq. It's a spinoff. No, I'm spinning off. I'm not watching this anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I told you, I checked out. You have never been my father. Yeah, I got it. How I, many I, I, scenes are we that you've never been my father? We're gonna get. <laughs> <laughs> no, forget about never. You're not my father. Forget about that. that's not the important part. At least three episodes ago, Tariq's 13 year old ass came up with a plan to fool all of the mobs, mobster <laughs> gangsters. Like, no, he was. Uh, we never remember this. Yeah, he sold he, some flour. He sold. He sold him this. Joe, Joe. You know that trick. Stan corrected. He was. It was he oregano was the for whole, me. But he I mean, was the whole mob's plug. He was he was the connect for the entire mafia <laughs> yeah, in Bob. New York City of what he stole from Tommy that he could fit in his Jansport backpack. <laughs> he was supplying the whole city. <laughs> yeah. This is so left from why we fell in love with power though. That's that's the crazy part about it. It's like getting in, better. We fell in love with it because it was like the idea of this this dude that lived a, a double life. It was like, oh shit, okay. You can kind of see that happening. Like he's in New York, owns a popular club, but at night he gets to some street shit. Yeah, there hasn't been a party at Truth. It's Truth is since not even the first open season. Anymore. No, 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 no. <laughs> and there was that, a fundraiser. And, that, that's, and that's, that's, where, <laughs> that's where you're wrong, buddy. Because just a few weeks ago, I it watched Ghost rob his party <laughs> in the club, and then Lorenz Tate killed someone there. Oh, that's true. And then continued to run for office. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, he used to be a cop, so. This shit is crazy. Man. And I don't know if you've noticed, anytime Ghost is in truth, the only dialogue he has is, yo, you should get a drink. I should give you a drink. You want a drink? <laughs> you need a drink. It's always uh, Johnny Walker Blue, too. Every single Every time. time. All he says in truth, come on, man, let me get you a drink. Yeah. Someone say some wild, truthful shit. <laughs> Yo, you just need a drink, man. <laughs> you just like, need a drink. They'll connect all the dots of Ghost Whole Life. C- come on, man. Let, let me get you a drink. <laughs> the funny is that nobody drinks in truth but Ghost. But Ghost. <laughs> Everyone turns it I down. I never see a bottle girl no. bringing bottles nowhere. <laughs> no, last bottle girl we saw was Holly. <laughs> yeah. That's a fact. <laughs> and, and, we saw and, and, and Lala up. told us what happened to that <laughs> for 17 episodes. <laughs> That's bad, man. You know what else I was tired of, too, that I never said? I was tired of the ghost of Angela. They, they, got, they, they got rid of it? It, it it's lasted been a while. for two episodes. I haven't seen her in a little bit, but... She's coming I back. I don't need the ghost of Angela coming to explain the ghost where he went wrong and the difference <laughs> in his relationships. Like, fam. Yo, all I want to know is Tasha's acting of the cops. <laughs> She's dead? <laughs> oh, man. And Tariq is sitting there with the wildest come on mom face in front of all the detectives. <laughs> And somebody tell me where Ghost has been such a bad dad all these years. <laughs> like, I don't understand where that resentment just kind of stemmed from out of the blue. <sighs> no? He was selling drugs. The Queen's Child Project. It's still, it's still coming. It's still coming. So it's just go- like that TLC album that I... I Donated to, it's still on its no, way. That album's not coming, Rory. I hate to be the person. To yeah, break Rory, it to you. you still looking that, for that? That album is not <laughs> coming. <laughs> so then, listen. Gold says ran an illegal empire for years. He's killed somebody in the club. Snitch. Gold says, "What else is Gold?" Gold says, 
Ghost is complicit in mad crimes over like five different seasons, right? He's just murdering COs willy nilly. Yeah. Somehow the the lady running for governor has no idea. <laughs> she fucks with him. <laughs> Yo, how many times are people going to call him Ghost and him have the same reaction? His son, Tate. <laughs> the serious like, face. I like, know who you are, Ghost. ghost. <laughs> well, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> sure you do. You're Ghost, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> you know exactly what we're talking about. You set up mad shit and you're running for governor. Yeah, you in Nike tech suits and kill people at night. That's <laughs> <laughs> all he do is put on a black Nike tech suit and, and go stare. kill somebody. This is great. The great stare. TV. I know we're making jokes, but I'm going to be really sad when Power leaves. <laughs> oh, devastating. Because I had a blast during that episode. For real. That shit is Because now that I see what they're doing, it's like, all right, I got it now. Look, come on, let's do it. Let's yeah. do it. Let's they're taking. It. They're taking. Let, let's, let's just do wild yeah, Let's see how bad we can be. <laughs> Nobody Hey, by that, by that third taken movie, you kind of knew what Liam was about to get. All right, go get your son, my <laughs> nigga. Come on. <laughs> Talk about a bad father. <laughs> that motherfucker can't keep a kid. <laughs> That's funny. Why no one ever brought that up? He has a special set of skills, though. Yeah? He's just not a good dad. <laughs> it's not fatherhood. No. He has the no fathering skills. skills at all. Funny shit, but we watched all the movie, but they killed his wife, his daughter. Yeah, they like, killed his skills ain't that They killed fire. his whole family. Yeah, like, damn, that's he what y'all did trash. to him? <laughs> yeah, you killed them too, but fuck, whatever, nigga. You sad and lonely. You need therapy now. <laughs> <laughs> fucking killed your whole family. All right, uh, what else is going on outside of our amazing power recap? I know that's what the audience lives to hear for from us. <laughs> they do. They do. Where we at? I started watching the uh, Godfather Harlem shit. That shit is fire. Yeah, great yeah. show. I like me and Maul told you. Yeah. I'm like, I couldn't find epics for fucking three weeks. <laughs> great show. <laughs> it did take a while to find What the fuck epics. is epics? <laughs> I have no idea what epics is. I don't. Um, but it's a real good show. Real good show. Good. Um, what else? What else is happening? What else is happening? That's important in the world. Important in the world. Important in the world. I think that's a good segue. Parks. What's important? Ooh, I got a couple things here. The Popeyes chicken sandwich is back, right? That's the first thing on my list. And you niggas is crazy for it too. Y'all have got to be smoking. You brought some. Y'all liked it though, right? Yeah, you brought, you brought yeah, two cold sandwiches in here. <laughs> it don't, we ate them. <laughs> yes, I did. Those were the real. Now that it's stepped uh, on. Uh, it is stepped yeah, on. Yeah. Now that they cut it down. This mm-hmm. was like when they recalled the four locos and gave us like the non locos. Yeah, they gave us the three locos. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Nah, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. It don't take you five months to find chicken and bread. <laughs> <laughs> That's a fact. There's one thing. I went and got chicken earlier this. today. That's why I'm laughing at people eating this shit. Like, all right, good. They're doing something to this chicken. That's a fact. And if you don't believe me, look at your local 22 year old girl. <laughs> The if you don't believe me is what's the funny part about that. Like, and if you don't believe me, like, just take a stroll down your, your local at, boulevard. Look at your local 22 year old hey, girl. Hey, old niggas, think of the girls that was 22 when you were around that age and look at them now. It's yeah. this. It's, it's, di- it's, 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 it's dirty it's poultry. It's new chicken. Dirty mm-hmm. poultry. That's all it is. I mean, it's dirty, steroids, there's something going on in mm-hmm. this chicken. Look at yeah. that chicken versus this chicken. <laughs> well, yeah, one got a little. Extra pinch. That shit got hips. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they gave that one more steroids. A little more cream, some pickles. Listen, it don't uh, for me, it don't take five months to find chicken and bread. I don't trust none of you niggas. I don't care that you open on Sundays. I didn't fuck with Chick-fil-A anyway, but I just don't trust it now. Yeah, I'm with you. Y'all gonna y'all Popeye's chicken sandwich niggas, y'all gonna learn about missing a window. <laughs> <laughs> y'all gonna learn about missing a golden opportunity. And that's not to say that I don't think y'all will make money, because I do. If you're open on Sundays and y'all were they open on Sundays before? Guys, Popeyes has always been open on yeah, Sundays. Yeah, always. It's only Chick Fil A does that weird shit. Well, because they don't like the gays. Oh, if Popeyes has is? always been open on Sundays, then yeah, yeah they they've missed the golden <laughs> window with this thing. I thought that was a new thing. They were open on Sundays now. They got the sandwich, so this is a, a whole new no, no, day they can count they're for. They're dropping it terms. on a Sunday to show Chick Fil A, like yo. Yeah. Popeyes. You missing out. Popeyes. Sorry, buddy. Yeah, it's too late. People yeah. gonna be lined up for that shit. Uh, yeah. You saying all that. No, 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 no. It's gonna happen. Humans are are, are total idiots. That's a so fact. I'm never putting anything past humans. Of course they're gonna be lined up for this thing. Mm-hmm. What I'm saying is these companies is gonna learn they're gonna learn about about how powerful the internet marketing is and what happens when you no longer have it. Sure the sandwich is gonna sell. Yes, they're going to make a shit ton of money. It's going to be a profit for them. This is going to be in the in the black positive. 
I think what their projections are based on what happened before are going to be drast- drastically off. That's my opinion. That's my take on that. Yeah. All right. So anyway, aside from that, other important news. Uh, Spotify has recently redesigned its apps to focus on podcasts. And it's paying off big time. You're fucking welcome. Uh, they jumped up 40%. And uh, You're welcome. Yeah. I just want to pass on the back. Thanks, man. Uh, David Binoff and D.B. Weiss, who created or wrote uh, Game of Thrones, recently came out and said that they didn't know what the fuck they were doing, and they fucked it up. And they're also not doing Star Wars anymore. So I was right. <laughs> you say all that to say you was right. Huh? Yeah, basically. Yeah. So these two niggas just keep taking the money for projects and bailing on them. Correct. Is basically what happened. Yeah. They were writing Game of Thrones, uh, bailed on that to do Star Wars. We were all supposed to understand that that is why Game of Thrones was trash. Then we were supposed to wait for Star Wars, and now they're not doing Star Wars because they bailed on Star Wars to go do something for Netflix. So these niggas just bail anytime they get a big check. That's it. Swag. Shout out to them. <laughs> um, let me see I read here. something that the uh, Game that of Thrones, Thrones prequel is not, uh, they canceled it? I read that as well. I don't have much details on it yet. Uh, I want to give a shout out to Dr. Dre, this size Dr. Dre MTV's. Uh, yes, yes, yes. He yes, lost yes, an yes. eye as a result of uh, diabetes, and he's already lost a toe. Or lost his vision. I'm sorry, not an eye. But he prayers, lost his vision. Damn. Prayers, prayers up to, prayers Dr. to Dr. Dre. Dr. Dre. Uh, the ACL, ACLU uh, just blocked Alabama's abortion ban, so ab- abortion is um, legal in all 50 states still. So, as, it, as it should be. Yeah. Absolutely. That was a long applause. <laughs> but I agree. Women should have the right to choose. Uh, Viacom and CBS are merging. Regular day. Regular day. <laughs> billion dollar <laughs> fucking Starbucks conglomerate. Starbucks makes coffee. <laughs> <laughs> um, Dave Chappelle received the Mark Twain Prize Award for American Humor. Good for him. Give a salute to, to yeah, Dave it. Chappelle. You guys want to touch on the NCAA thing? Uh, More applauses. Just, yeah. Uh, so basically the, the players being able to monetize off their shit as they should have been able to for the entire time is now legal for the entire country, not just California. Dope. The NCAA the was uh, not interested in continuing to battle lawsuits in all 50 states. So. They would have lost. and then Which they would have all lost. Yeah. Yeah. Shout out to the athletes. Yeah, that's great. Absolutely. Uh, Dame Dash and Adam 22 have a new show. I'd watch. Content. Content Brothers. Uh, last thing I got <laughs> here is... Content is Brothers. Don't, park, don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> I like their interview. The first one they did. I didn't see it. It was good. They are our brothers in content, Joe. Anyway, <laughs> uh, last thing I have is that uh, Prince hated Katy Perry and Ed Sheeran. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think secretly Prince hated every artist. I don't think it was a secret. <laughs> I wonder who he did like. He liked Beyonce. He just said, "You got to play an instrument if you want to be at my level." <laughs> That's all he said. He said, "Nah, fuck with you." You're fire, but he did like, like Beyonce. He did. That's why Beyonce started playing the piano. She's like, "Shit, <laughs> I gotta step." If back. you're gonna listen to someone, it should be Prince. Yeah, yeah, it's true for sure. Uh, oh, Rihanna put out a book of beautiful pictures of herself. Where's the link? In my group chats, I got all the links, leaks to all the albums, but can't give me the Rihanna book. Right. She put out her own Instagram. Yeah, but it's fire. The hardcover edition. <laughs> She put out the hard cover of her picture. <laughs> <laughs> I got a buck twenty for you. How much is a book? It looks she like a big It's book. expensive. Yeah. She don't let him party next door out that basement. <laughs> <laughs> let him breathe. Yeah, let that nigga make some songs, man. Rihanna is fine though. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that book that book book look alright. Uh they put a uh, Morgan gonna buy the April Jones picture book. <laughs> for sure. Some producer come out with her shit. <laughs> Fizz play, what's still up from Fizz, nigga? <laughs> <laughs> Both y'all. <laughs> hey Mo, yo, Fizz keep playing with us, right? And I'll, yeah. I'll, I'll pop more <laughs> Hey yo, April, man. Now that I'm thinking about it. <laughs> That's funny. 
Uh, all right, what else is happening? What else is happening that's important? I think that's uh, like a big bit. They, right? yeah. they put Future's Monster Mixtape on streaming. I know, and I hated everybody that fucking put up a picture of Future's Monster Tape that day. <laughs> Like, nigga, it was nigga, a popular take. Get a fucking life. Get a life. <laughs> get a life. <laughs> you is like, you niggas like, is yeah. fucking losers, <laughs> man. Yeah. True. It's the five year anniversary of when Future put out Monster, and that was the album that we all like. Shut the fuck up. Shut up. And then half of them, half I of hate them, all you niggas. Half of them never even went nowhere and listened to that song. God <laughs> damn it. They weren't going coding Ooh, crazy. Future is no. on the streaming services now. It's, it's in your phone, too. Like, what, what is the big deal right now? People are weird. Everybody just want to be a part of it. I, I won't like, claim that one kid, but every, <laughs> now, ooh, he put his album up. Yo, hip hop fans are the worst fans in the world. I agree. Fuck the kids, huh? Yeah. Listen, I like the mixtapes are on streaming. <laughs> I keep it a buck with you. I think it's great. I wish more people would do it, though. <laughs> yeah. I'm rolling. Yeah. Somebody, some, some, somebody did some, 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 Somebody did this. If that was Hove mixtape, he'd be hyped. S. Carter is on streaming. It's on title. I mean, spot a title. <laughs> Good save, Rory. <laughs> you did that. <laughs> Hope claims his kids. Well, this decade. All right, see. All right, see. <laughs> see. Hey, see. we never got to the bottom of that whole free see. thing. <laughs> he said in the bar, I'm not to, I'm oh. not to father. Oh, please. He said it. Yeah, right. <laughs> he said it. Rory, I feel you, but that don't like that don't stamp like. Nah, the he facts. said it. Like, well, did he address that other kid that popped up that rapped like him? Everyone <laughs> rapped like him. Oh, that Sicario, young, or young Chris. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, didn't you Sicario have like a little beef or something? <laughs> Yo, Joe is Only beef with everybody. Why do you beef with Sicario <laughs> and I'm, Safari? Because I'm out here rapping the hardest shit in the world. Here comes Sicario. If I could go home to Montego, I would go. They could shut up. That song was fire. Sicario was alright though. You don't fuck oh, Sicario. Oh my god. Now Sicario Yo, is everybody who ever beef with Joe is alright. Nah, nah, Sicario has some joints. Yo, my friend group, I'm telling you. Nah, I'm man. telling you about Sicario him, man. has some joints. Don't do that. Yes. Call joints. him. I don't know him. <laughs> shut the <laughs> fuck up then, nigga. <laughs> I don't know what that hey, is. If you can't call him, shut the he, fuck nah, up. Nah, he has some joints though. He has some joints. Sicario was gonna fucking cook my muffin one of them shows I had in Connecticut. He was like, don't come up here, nigga. I came. <laughs> went right up there with no hesitation <laughs> which is fucked up because I think Sicario's a cool dude dude why'd yeah. you diss him he has some joints too I don't know why me and Sicario have a beef honestly I'm, I'm joking around right now I don't remember that beef I did say something bad about him <laughs> oh there you go <laughs> come on man how that there, there it is Sicario he has yeah, some joints do and I think we had a girl in common and he was telling her shit it was like come on nigga See? Don't, don't do that <laughs> Don't, the, don't do that. That's the rapper shit. It always yeah, starts Eskimo with a girl. Bros. Right? Mm-hmm. It always starts with a girl. It's one big Eskimo. Yeah. See him at a festival. At a festival. <laughs> Step, Step to him with swollen. Step to him with swollen glass. One hundred percent. The funny shit. I did see him. I saw him one no, day. No, but he's my, supposed my to step to you. Bad, you just so I remember. I don't know how the step two rules go. Ask yeah. Russ. I wasn't this deviating from, from 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 my path with wherever, wherever my rider was to go see what Sicario <laughs> wanted. <laughs> I wasn't leaving the big chicken alone. <laughs> if I could go, go, and go. That record was good. Fuck I you. Would go home to Montico. Actually, wasn't that Angie's record? That was yeah. Remember oh, Angie? Remember Sicario Angie right was there. trying to figure out if she was going to LaGuardia or Kennedy. Come on, let's answer one of these uh, calls from the strangers. Yo. Yeah. Oh, you put you pussy if you ain't gonna talk, nigga. Say Word. something. Yeah. <laughs> Man, you, niggas, you niggas is so you niggas, weird. Y'all still pussy now. <laughs> 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 niggas is pussy. Yo, what's up? I think you hung up. Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Did he have to make sure? Oh, yeah. No, he's gone. All right. Uh, come on. What else we got? I think that's everything. I think that's everything. You niggas want to heat up in hour number three. I'm out of here. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Lizzo Gate. Popeye Sandwich. Summer Shower. Iggy and Tip. Rust of God. Maul, you owe R.J. Barrett an apology. And I'm not leaving here until you give it to him. I do. I apologize. He's a lot... Uh more skilled than I thought he was. I still think he's playing out of position, but he... That's, that's facts, he's but definitely, a few months ago you came in here and said, I think he's a bum. Get him no, out of here. He's, he's trash. No, I, didn't think, I, I thought it would take him longer. You to told me all the NBA, NBA players game. thought he was a bum too. 
No, he that, 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 he not, did. That, not he that did he was that. a bum, but he wasn't ready yet. That's what well, he's, he's 19, so he's not going to be ready, but yeah. he's no, a pretty no, no, good he, version no, of he's ready. ready. He's ready. For 19 right now. He's ready. He's, he's, he's playing out of position, but he's ready. They got him playing point guard too much. I think he's more of a three, but he, he's definitely ready for the, for the NBA game. Yeah, no, he looks good. Yeah, he looks absolutely. good. Absolutely. And congrats to the Knicks, man. They got their first one against the Bulls. Uh, shout out to them. Congratulations to them. Uh, hopefully they don't get too many more. Uh, <laughs> damn, Parks, I thought the Dolphins was sneaking away with a win the other night. And they, they blew high. it again. Tank. The Dolphins supposed to have at least three wins. Tank is on. Who are you tanking for? Tua. Parks one. Or homeboy from uh, no, 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 no. I'm done with you now. You've been tanking for Tua for months and months. I now mean, you want to well, or, or, or the other dude. The well, homeboy is starting to heat up. Burrow, Barrel? <laughs> no, he's been heating up. He's, I know. He's nice. He's nice. Uh, homie from Clemson. He's not coming out this year, though. I don't right? think he, yeah, I was going to say. No. I think he's uh, staying. He home, should stay. Homie from, uh, where's the shit where uh, Baker, Oklahoma? Is that Oklahoma? Where they keep spending out quarterbacks? Yeah. Oklahoma. Yeah. yeah. Hurts. Hurts. It's supposed to be nice, too. But No, he looks good, too. Yeah. Um, And I think that is everything that we have to get to. I don't think there's any more news, hip-hop stuff, uh, informational stuff, uh, stuff concerning stuff. the opposite sex. Wall Street stockish stuff. I think I don't. I don't know. I think that's it. I think that's it. Uh, so let me get into sleepers, man. Oh, shout them all Alto out. Soprano piano. Oh, shout them all out right quick. Alto Soprano piano. <laughs> I'm not an alto or a soprano. But you're right, a piano. Let me find a record. What, 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 what record am I playing here? But let's, you're a piano. Let's see here. Do, 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 Alto Soprano piano. So Niggas ain't even saying nothing about fucking uh, Galant album that dropped. Boy, I hate you phony niggas. I have a whole list of Y'all music that dropped. phony. <laughs> Xavier Omar's project dropped. Oh, where? I like Xavier Omar. Hate his album. What? Really? Yeah. Oh, I liked it. Uh, Nicole Buss put out a really good project. I heard some people talk about that. Benny and Smoke Dizzy put out a project. Yeah. Uh, Sir's brother put out a project. D-Smoke? Oh, yeah, D Smoke. Yeah, yeah, I got halfway through that. I got to finish it. Blue put out a project. Blue Didn't and see that. Fat Jack. Oh, you asked for a poem? <laughs> a poem is what you're going to get. Hit it, Jack. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you want to talk about dragon shit. <laughs> uh, all right, man. Listen, great pod. It's here a little longer than I would have liked to be here. And didn't come here to give you niggas three hours of talking about shit. But fuck it. Listen, man, I want to thank each and every one of y'all for listening. Uh, keep us in your prayers. Lord knows we need to be there. Until the next time, I bid you adieu. Fear well, peace, adios, arrivederci, so long, goodbye, deuces, 100, what you doing tomorrow, anything that you say to get away from a nigga, yo, yo, that's crazy, I mean, uh, what else we got, 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 uh, oh, life is a series of moments, there we go, let me turn this, stink bitch down, uh, <laughs> look at all, man, I'm joking, I haven't said anything. I'm I, you're chilling. I, 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 uh, that's why we didn't get our cash doll interview. What? What are you talking it's about? It's because of summer. Okay. Whatever that means. <laughs> I don't know what that I'm means. Lying. If I'm lying, I'm flying. I don't even know summer. <laughs> was he with cash doll or was he with summer? Mm. I was home. <laughs> <All right. laughs> By myself. You had your cake in 82? No, Rory. So it wasn't a case No No case <laughs> But do you eat cake? Not really I'm getting out of here <laughs> <laughs> um, Look at Usher
<laughs> what the fuck is Usher saying? What you mean? Never mind. Uh, what am I saying? What am I saying? What am I saying? Uh, life is a series of moments. There we go. And moments pass. So let's make this one last. As if, if, as if it's all that we have. Until the next time, I say goodbye to you niggas earlier. Listen, remember that girl is not cute. She's young. Uh, she doesn't have a sense of humor. She grew up with brothers. That girl is not thick. She's on her tippy toes. She doesn't have hips. She's sitting on a sink, a bed, or a flat surface. Uh, she doesn't have woman's intuition. She went through your phone. She's not healing. She's hoeing. Last but certainly not least, that woman is not protecting her peace. She is avoiding accountability, failing to realize how her actions have a negative effect on not only her life, but other lives as well. And uh, what am I saying? What am I saying? Uh, man, 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 man. Oh, that guy's not working a double. He slept at her place. He doesn't have a lot in his mind. She found out about you. He's not asking <laughs> where you are. He's calculating how much time he has to get back home. Uh, work's not slow. He's been unemployed for mad long. He doesn't see things your way. Your His car is in your name, and there's not an echo in his house. He's in the bathroom. Oh, last but not least, he is not fighting demons. Uh, come on, Mo, what's your shit? The homies found his paperwork, and he's a snitch. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> that's, that's a demon. That happens. That's fighting a demon, Mo. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, until next time I'm getting the fuck out of here, man Listen, y'all have a safe and sound Happy Halloween Please be careful Check your children's candy Don't allow them to get initiated into a gang The day before Halloween Watch out for the hard-boiled eggs Dumb shits hurt I don't yeah. care <laughs> They hurt Be mm -hmm. careful uh, If you're on a bus Keep your head on a swivel Just keep your head on a swivel, period uh, for Halloween Stay safe Stay sound Be merry Be glad Rejoice All of that good shit Happy Halloween We'll talk to y'all On Saturday Until the next time Hey uh, Hey He make I want to do everything But get in the shower <laughs> And I'm kidding I don't know that Summer Summer doesn't shower By the way Come through Shower after two Just to be dirty around you Hey! <laughs> <laughs>